So he, threw, he threw some monk to us on that shit, bro. <laughs> Spicy. He didn't have to. He could have just uh, went. I want, but he had to go to. I want it that way. He went on Fergie so on that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he could have just went. He could have just like Fergie. sung it note by yeah. note, bro. No, no. But he had to run, bro. <laughs> Who run the world? Don. Don. <laughs> bro. I and like that. that. Here on the world. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb. It's and that was another rendition of I Want It That Way by the Balak Bayan Boys. Balak <laughs> Bayan Boys. They're always coming back. <laughs> the Balak Bayan Street Boys. That's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> if we were a boy band, we'd definitely be the Balak Bayan Street Boys, bro. <laughs> we bring it back to the streets, Balak Bayan style. <laughs> Do it for the boxes. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, man. That's hilarious. I, I can just imagine it now. There's just a bunch of boxes on stage. And then as soon as the music hits, we jump out of the boxes. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> We're like a present. And, and my box is like the, the sticky tape is like too tight. And I can't break through it. <laughs> Pokes a hole out. It's just, why is that box moving? <laughs> you pop out all this, um, like, Help him. this fish come out. Like the fish, you what? get all the sardines and your one. Yeah, oh, yeah. The bloody spam, My one's bro. got Tim Tams and like Australian snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's got old clothes <laughs> <laughs> that don't fit no more. <laughs> That's just he has another person inside. He just snuck in another person. Why would he yeah. smuggle <laughs> someone to the Philippines? <laughs> <laughs> got sent back. We do. Have, we do. Deported. We do have a fifth member, but he he he's stuck in security. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make it through, guys. Oh. <laughs> Their name is contraband. So oh, someone didn't declare particular stuff in that box over it's there. It's a pastillas. You'll see you in a future it's episode of Border Patrol. <laughs> What do you mean we can't bring dairy? <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a <laughs> what do you mean I can't bring a live chicken? <laughs> <laughs> What's a cock fight without a cock? <laughs> 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 it's funny now that like they, they used to worry about the dairy products. Now they don't worry about it so much. Now mm. it's about really? the pork products. Is it all about oh, the really? guns yeah. and the drugs? So the the chicharron is going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, because mm. when I came back, my the chicharron that I had, Getting shout out again to Michaela. She gave me some uh, chicharron from the Philippines, fully packaged and everything. Like it, it's it's sealed and yeah. everything. And then they confiscated it. Oh, it's they a confiscated foot and mouth it. disease. I think we're worried so, about when yeah. I was coming back. Or swine flu, or one of those. That could be a song for yeah. our Balak Bayan Street Boys. Like two chicharrons can make a right. Two chicharrons. Two chicharrons. Two chicharrons. Two chicharrons. Two chicharrons can make a right. Two chicharrons. <laughs> Uh, oh man! Yeah. What's your, what's your go-to pasalubong when you come back from Phil's? Oh, bro, it's the Tim Tams from the street. Tim from Tams the from the street, wait, from the street, street, from street away in Philippines. No, 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 straight away from our house. I buy the Tim Tams there. Oh, it's from the Philippines, bro. <laughs> he just oh, goes, yeah. to, he goes to the local. Bro, you store. know the worst thing is it's like pasalubong buying overseas is one of the things that I hate in the world. Right next to Christmas shopping. Yeah, because like it it forces you out of one of the days of from your, your from trip. your trip yeah. from your holiday to mm. think about others. I'm like, man, <laughs> this is coming out. This is, well, if if I'm gonna buy a pass Lubong, you're gonna have to throw in some annual leave in that shit. Bro. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is part of my annual leave. This hour, this hour right here or two. <laughs> so and then we're like, I remember when I was in Japan, bro, yeah. and then um. Shiv was like, "Oh, we need to get some, you know, Stuff souvenirs, some pasalubong for the for the family." I was like, "All right, cool, yeah. let's do it." And then it felt like Christmas. Oh, don't forget this person. Don't forget that yeah, person. That's right, annoying. Don't right. forget this person. And then home was like rolling around like Osaka. I was like, "Bro, <laughs> can we just go to one joint?" See, yeah, that makes sense. Because if you're going to a place, obviously you're holidaying and you've never been there before. Yeah, you don't know where to go and what to do, what's available. Like when we go to Philippines, we know what's what's around. 
Yeah. But Japan? Japan, bro. Like how do you kimono? get around? I'm like, going to give everyone a, like a kimono each or something. I just don't know, <laughs> yeah. bro. Just get a, a kimono each. Just get the duty free at the airport. We're going to buy some culturally I think, unappropriate <laughs> gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people do the, the fridge magnets. Or yeah. The, um, well, well, stuff you can get on in the airport. Yeah, like yeah. on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> the when, my, <laughs> when my cousin, yeah, when my cousin like and his mugs. wife, <laughs> when my cousin is and his wife uh, went to Korea, like South Korea, they came back with fridge magnets, but they were also bottle openers, so practical. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yes, that's cool. Yeah. You know? They look nice too, man. Yeah, bro. And I was like in Thailand, Pasalubong there, bro. Everyone's getting a fake shirt, bro. But they're fake fun. Shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I like those shirts. I've been pentang siglet. All that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything like describe them or to think about what they like and stuff. Oh, he likes UFC. We'll get some t- Muay Thai yeah. shit. And like, oh man, it just becomes Christmas. Be the but best. Also, man. But be I'd the best. rather be lying down <laughs> drinking a coconut right now than running around like a headless chicken trying to figure out some gifts for you can't, you can't forget something the, that you didn't get annual leave for. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you can't. You have to like get extra baggage sometimes. Depending, yeah. that's the worst part. Because yeah, my yeah, mom like, had to buy so many things. And you're doing these things where you like you like getting on the on the, on the, the scale and weighing yourself. Yeah, it's the worst. And then holding the bag and then just <laughs> yeah. calculating in your head. Yep. Like, fuck. We are over <laughs> twenty one kilos, bros. Cost more. Easy. <laughs> and you like you pay yeah. like x amount to bring an extra bag that costs more than all the pasalubongs. Oh my god, yeah, bro. Yeah. See, pasalubong. Hmm. Pasalubong. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Send a postcard from the place. That's uh, nice. Two right. pasalubongs don't make a right. I brought a bong <laughs> from Philippines as pasalubong. <laughs> <laughs> I confiscated that shit right it's away. Like, like, uh, it's like a like, pass, pass, pass the lubong. Yeah. Pa, pa, pass. <laughs> pass the lubong. <laughs> Where did you get that lube? Oh, Where did you get that pa, um, that bong? It's lube. pass the lube. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bong that's lubed up and that's why. Dude. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lube. It's a bong. It's it a bong owned by a pastor named Lou. <laughs> the pasta <laughs> is the pasta lubong. <laughs> it's Pasta Loops And there's bong. pasta inside it. Pasta Loops bong. Pasta Loops bong. <laughs> it's okay. I actually know pasta. somebody whose name is Lube. It's funny. I do too, actually. It might be the same person. Luburn. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Right. It's it's one of your mates. Yeah, yeah, Luburn. Lube. We yeah. all know Lube. I think there's the same <laughs> so guy. The same guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one Lube. There's only one. Shout out to Lube. Shout out to bro. Hit us up in the comments. If, you, yeah, if your name is Luburn. <laughs> <laughs> or anything that like along the lines of lube. Oh, bro. Um, uh, there's got to be one, bro. That's it. There's got to be one. There's only one. It's got to be one. Gonna be me. Yeah. But yeah. Good the, shit. When, when I go to do like the, the, the pasalubong or the souvenir shopping, I don't, I, I don't think about it too much. Hey? I'll go to Green mm-hmm. Hills and like what I did for the guys, I went to Green Hills, bought a whole bunch of cheap, uh, knock off sunglasses, the Ray Bans. I wish I could do that. Came before, back bro. and then just like, here you go, guys. I would have got Sarah on the same thing. Yeah. I would have got everyone the same fridge magnet. Yeah. I just, can I get this one in about 33? Yeah, thank you. Whereas, whereas my girlfriend will try to like have something tailored. We're in Germany. She's trying to find nice. uh, um, a Lego flower arrangement. Holy shit. For oh, her sister. Out. That's so thoughtful, though. We were in, we were in um, uh, Munich. And walking around yeah. Munich, and she's like, "Oh, there's a Lego store here. Let's get this. There's this particular flower arrangement." Custom I'm made. Get you know what's the worst? When you get a pasulubong and you get back to Australia, and you see the same fucking thing that's already here, and you're like, "I could just bought this here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you could, but that'd be out of your money. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like shout, bro. Like, you know, like, I want to shout you a uh, box of Ferrero shares and say it's from the Philippines just to make you feel better. And um, you know, when we go to Philippines, like, because we're not the ones. Uh, I think that's us going on our vacation, but we have to bring Pasalubong to our relatives. Yeah. Um, because we're in Australia, we're bringing them like little koala mm. miniature Australia like stuff toys and shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> My auntie opened that one time and she goes, see this thing here? It says made in Philippines. <laughs> you just brought this back home. <laughs> He's back home. Yeah. <laughs> the koala's like, yeah. I'm back home. <laughs> You oh, just man. paid for shipping <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, Philippines won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, true. That's true. There you go. Bringing it back uh, to the economy, bro. That's, that's good, funny. Bro. Yeah. That's so good. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever gotten for Pasalobong or given for Pasalobong? Oh. Given? Yeah. I can't even oh. remember. I can't remember what I've gotten, like, given for Pasalobong. Given or gotten? Oh, I my dad... I don't know, getting political, whatever. We went to America in 2016, right? 
and this is when Trump and what's his name was going for no. Obama's. And yeah, uh, no, no, like um, when Trump won the election. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and get then um, I got him a Trump mug. <laughs> I think I, and dad doesn't like he it. doesn't like Trump nah, oh. but I was like I came back from America with this <laughs> this is for you dad keep that shit <laughs> hilarious I'm I'm gonna gonna get American thing get him, a yeah. ma- get him a MAGA hat or something yeah <laughs> the, the a MAGA hat we're never gonna go beat up <laughs> like what does MAGA stand for it stands for Maganda yeah. Maganda it stands Maganda. for Omaga Umaga Umaga <laughs> Umaga hat It's my morning hat uh, hey, Umaga yeah, You make America great again Let's Umaga make, Let's make morning great again <laughs> <laughs> Let's make morning great again Umaga <laughs> Make morning great again Umaga To be real I, 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 I really think we should make morning great again Because I'm not a morning person And yeah, I I'm feel like Every time I wake up It's the shittiest part of the day bro. I love mornings Really? Yeah. Are you a morning person, Don? I can imagine. You I can are. be. Yeah, yeah. He's hybrid, I, bro. I, I He's do, hybrid. I do swings and roundabouts because sometimes I'll I'll have really um, creative bouts at night, and I'll stay up, just you know, trying Ooh. to create or do stuff, doing stuff at night, and then it'll just stuff up my waking up early. But bro, usually, I'm, I do enjoy waking up early. I'm a zombie when I wake up, bro. I'm just like, what? What? Yeah, I struggle. Yeah, I struggle. What time does your kid wake up though? Doesn't he wake up? Oh, early? he's the one that wakes me up. Yeah. Oh, that's why then you're just t- waking up tired as shit. Yeah, I'm waking up tired as crap. Like, like mornings, even before Seth, I'm not a morning person. Never was a morning person. Mm. Like, like the only time I'd be a morning person is just is one of the rare days of like, you know, good times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like mornings. I think I try to make mornings as good as possible because I have to set my day. <laughs> That way, and if oh, it starts yeah. off shit, it's just gonna I'm be shit. You're and if I'm, if I'm always asleep, <laughs> you're I'm positive thinking. I'm trying to half full, half. Like, well, I am. I'm mostly a cynical. You're the and type of person, person that doesn't call it trabajo. It's trabango. <laughs> trabango. <You're the> <laughs> trabango. <laughs> trabango. <laughs> Don't make it, it. Don't, it don't go to trabajo. Just call it trabango. trabango. It's, it's not work. Day, it's bro. smells good. It smells good in the kitchen. I didn't get that. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but you know, like I, I was, I always try to be a morning person. Never works out. So let's I, let's let's make morning I, great again. Bro. I'm similar because like if I wake up and I do a, an early morning workout, yeah, like then I feel better about it. But if if I go to the gym and there are people there, then I'm get bummed out. I'm no. like, oh, I'm not here early enough. Yeah, I agree. Like, like, What's I'm early like, though? Like, what time does you do people usually go? I go to work at eight. So Six I have to o'clock wake. gym. Some people, yeah, like I don't go gym. Yet. There's there's a thing called the five a.m. club. Oh. So people will wake up at five a.m. and do the thing. I really hate these people. Really. <laughs> those people take it too far. They started though. calling themselves a club yeah. oh, based on what time they wake you know, up. They're the same guys that be saying, you know what? I could make twenty five hours in a day. Oh, these guys are the ones gosh. that are asleep by like seven p.m. Great though. Cardone, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, but like, so, so people can wake up at five a.m. I don't usually my my body clock always wakes me up at about seven seven thirty, mm. but I like waking up earlier than that. If I do wake up earlier than that, then I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a pretty decent day. I just like the quiet. It's the most productive. The most I can be productive mm. if I'm first to do something or if I'm just alone. Mm. Silence. It, it, it could work reverse ways so most like creatives usually like to work at night but I realize yeah. for me if I'm late at night there's a good chance I might just not sleep at all and then I'm fucked for the yeah. next day so it's right. like I might as well just wake up early and then I have this like window and then when shit starts to get noisy it's like alright well I've done almost everything I need to do or maybe I did everything already and the rest can just like whatever whatever happens you touched on this Don the creative juices mm. is that a thing of like there's certainly certain times of the day or night when that starts rolling, like when you as well, like mm. when you do editing, because creativity the best has to like for sure, yeah. nighttime right. is the thing. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nighttime seems to be like where everything just clicks for me. Like I think that's when everything's kind of like everyone's everything that's meant to disrupt you in the world yeah. either it stops. either s- asleep or stopped. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? And I'm mm. just like, yo, here I am. My zone. Let's just do it. This can go on to like three a.m. or so. Who yeah. cares, bro? Let's go. Let's go in. That's yeah. probably why my mornings are fucked up. Because, yeah. Like I'm just like. Now you're just doing it, but morning, like in reverse. In so literally, like how I'm saying my mornings is my thing. Yours is just at night. It's just flipped. Plus, I'm a procrastinator, so like I don't, I don't like to do all my stuff in the day. Yeah. Because like I, I think I work best when there's like oh, <coughs> the day is nearly done. 
Let's you're, get, you're, let's go in. <laughs> you're using the urgency, the stress to yeah. be like, Fuck, I gotta do th- do this shit now. Yeah. yeah, I used to struggle with that. That's why I had to change my shit. You need to pressure me to do stuff. That's not healthy, but during yeah. in high school, <laughs> say, it's not I healthy. know. <laughs> Sorry to but, say, but <laughs> psychology with Doctor Nats. <laughs> I've studied this shit, man. In studied in it. um in high school, did you guys ever like what's it called? Like when uh, an exam is coming up or a project is due, did you just leave it to like last minute? Oh yeah, yeah all the time. Use that time. pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's the only way I could study. <laughs> I just did that you try to make way. songs and shit. I was like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, what? How many like three I, points is like? Oh, yeah, you got to think of MCD you, or some shit. Do you ever get to the point you've like all already given up? You're like, nah, I'm gonna bomb this. So you just start writing answers in like your sleeves, in your arms and shit. It's just like you're thinking of di- different ways now. It's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna like put some shit on my arms, nah. like fucking prison break where he's got all the shit on him. You know what we did to cheat on exams at, at high school? Sure. We put a uh, school bag in the in the toilets. Oh wow! So we'd be like, hey, I gotta go to the toilet. Go there, what? check the textbooks, come back, and it's like you've just reviewed again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you don't know what the questions are until the, you get to the day, yeah. right? So once you know what to look for, you then go you go, go to the toilet and then go look for all the answers and then come Take back. a mad shit. Yeah. Stay I mean, like they minutes. can't stop you from going to the toilet. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. So, like, I would try to get my mate to memorize the first, you know, sometimes it's multiple choice. Mm. All you got to give me is a code for the yeah. first, first, at least as far as you can. So yeah. I could like think of like the... The right answers for everything. It's a, it's like. a musical thing. He's also going A B C C D. You make a song out of it, Isn't that what people used to do to cheat on those shows? Like, who wants to be a millionaire? They have their mates in the audience, and then one would just go, <coughs> yeah, if it's yeah, A or yeah. B or C. <laughs> you did that in school. The one that got caught. If someone did yeah. the if someone did the test before me, bro, they're making a song out of letters for me, bro. Yeah, go help out, bro. That's crazy. He got caught because he got them all right. You'd have to be yeah. like a little bit more covert about it. So if it's A, like maybe just put your hand on your head or something. No, they, they were B. doing different. They were trying to be. But it was, I think what gave him away was like, he'd be like, I think it's A. And then someone was like, <coughs> no, no, I think D actually. And then it was like, what's your reasoning? Because uh, the host actually has like, they're not just hosting. They're actually, yeah. there's more to it to what they do. It's very psychological. And then obviously something was off. And there's a lot of money on the line, so obviously mm. there's, you know, there's security funny. measures for this shit, and they they got found out live on air. I I was I would procrastinate as well with stuff, and then in high school, and then in university, I would try to be a little bit more systematic about stuff. <laughs> start early, like a project. I'd, the first week I got the project, I would start it, and then I wouldn't do anything until maybe the last week. <laughs> that's it, bro. That's like the start that's of school. It. Also, you know what? This is gonna be a new day, a new year, like a new me. I'm gonna start early. And you do the first project early, then after that, it's like, after you know that what? It falls apart. Yeah. You know what? I'm better as a procrastinator. Yeah. For yeah. In uni, what pressure, we did was uh, we scoured the internet. We look, We asked people like who did the, the, the course before us, and we found every single exam paper for as many years as before that as possible. And then we just um, went through it. We're like, okay, there's this type of question, this type of question. So when we did the exam, we'd known already maybe like 20% of those questions that were in there because they reused some of the questions. Wow. You know what you just did? You just did research, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. You might as well have just studied, bro. Just studied, bro. <laughs> you might as well just like study. a lot more effort than natural <laughs> study. Like, bro, like, let's memorize a thousand questions. <laughs> you know what would be easier? Every but. single paper. <laughs> Back from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you know what it did? It would do the same thing I did if I actually researched. I would know the answers to the questions. 12 days straight I researched. We scoured the internet. <laughs> Look, like he's got the hack, like, bro. There's only 12 questions in this exam. <laughs> and I got them all. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yeah, okay, we researched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did research. We studied, yeah, we studied. It's, so <laughs> it's like, I was, wait, wait, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was chatting to my, I was chatting to my uh, cousin. And shout out to my cousin, Jan, in the Philippines. He's just started, like, uni and stuff like that. And, um... I don't know why he typed this to me. He was just like, "Oh yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think more systematically uh, in how I'm functioning." And I went, "Do you mean you're building a plan and carrying out that plan?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Chat GPT talk." That's why you like use Chat GPT to reply to you. <laughs> yeah, he probably did actually. 
What, are, what should I say to my kuya? But um, isn't American. there an app like that? Like you type in like however you would say something and then it'll just translate. Yeah, that's chat, chat, Like I mean, like in like a conversational way. Like I'm pretty sure they did that in South Park. Like the guy was uh, had an auto reply to his mm. girlfriend and then the girlfriend loved him, but he didn't know anything. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's mad. <laughs> you know what? This is an AI relationship. I'm sorry to everyone that has received our auto reply. Yeah, what, what is that? It's me. Yeah, I it's like being know. systematic, systematic <laughs> diplomatic, F- functioning systematically. <laughs> you know, some th- I've seen some of people actually reply to the auto reply. Yeah, auto reply. So like, I'm f- f- sorry to you guys. As sorry, well. Ron. And and, <laughs> <laughs> and and sorry to the people who have auto uh, like auto reply, and then our auto replies had conversations with each other. <laughs> oh, Did no. it really? Yeah. Like, is that a thing? <laughs> I think it was like Pino- mini Pinoy grill. Oh. I said something, and then. He got. He gave me his order reply, and then our order reply gave an order reply to his order reply. Oh. <laughs> so the That's it. That's the end of the world. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, the conversation was, "Let's take over the world, Just destroy all humans." Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh shit! You see, our AI where's is Sarah Connor? <laughs> Are you Sarah Connor? <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> order reply. Roll out. <laughs> <laughs> is Croc is Croc using the same thing that we use it the same app? That I we have use? no idea, but it's the auto reply. I saw it. I was like, oh, is that going to be the, the sucky thing about auto replies? Yeah. It's just like Instagram business talk now. I guess yeah. is that like you never know when you receive a message because mm. it's it comes up as you reply to their message, and then I'm like, oh, I never. Then I found a message from four weeks back oh, wow. that I didn't see because auto reply. Really? Told so that, it just yeah. marks off the marks messages. Off, to right. you. Something got to be fixed about that. This could be the end of the yeah, world. Yeah. Well, I was testing it out, and I I, w- I was telling our Patreon. Um, so the, the the people in our Patreon uh, group, I was telling them about it, and shout outs to CA for helping me test it out. And he's like, oh yeah, it works. But then we kind of just left it, and we didn't didn't necessarily do anything with it. Um, and thank you to everybody who who like jumps into our dms and, mm. and replies to us tags us and stuff we do our best yeah. to like it to to reply back but we we can't get to all of them and that's why i wanted to put the auto reply mm. on there shouts to kathy from new gen she's funny bro she's hilarious once yeah. she got the auto replies like what the hell is this auto reply bullshit <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> i'm like you're the man that's what i hear every time i hit say it that's how i feel too <laughs> Such a uh, I'll do. take it off, guys. Thanks, man. You can take it off. <laughs> it, feels un- it feels unnatural. <laughs> it's Unless robotic. we like, you know, we have we make our own auto reply. We're like we'll be talking to you back real soon. Yeah. <laughs> make it like a voicemail. <laughs> yeah, voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> it'll hand out. It'll hand out like personal emails. Could we do that? An auto reply voice mail. Yeah, even if it was a bro. short clip, like a video, right? Yeah, that'd, that'd just be, be cool. our latest, our latest snippet. Mm. <laughs> a video of one of us like hey thanks for applying but then it'll because if we if one of us tags the cheat coders in it we'll get it as well because i'll tag the cheat coders and i'll get the order apply uh, see fun times guys it's all right i'll turn it off now <laughs> thanks <laughs> but let's get into us oh i don't even introduce the podcast hey let's oh, go yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go! Welcome to another episode of the Cheat Coders Podcast. My name is Raph. This is episode number 266. And I'm here with my usual suspects of Don doing stuff. Looking good with his sleeveless shirt and Adidas shoes. Oh my God, he's got to see Cheat Coders hat. What's doing? And he's too good. Thanks, thanks Frankie Sinatra. You know why he's all the way to the left side of the street is too good for us because he's got the good, good, good microphone. The <laughs> microphone that is cost about a thousand dollars and is better than with the low, lower ends of your voice and all Shout that stuff. Shout out to Common House, by the way. For <laughs> Michael Jackson used it to record. Apparently, it weighs three thousand pounds. It really does. You can't hold it for sixteen minutes. Or when more. it comes to yeah. podcasting, it's not all about the weight and the what, size what, what and the color. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about? It's about, it's about the girth. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the girth of the microphone. It's about whose mouth it's on. <laughs> wow. wow. Speaking about mouths, we got 
Mr. Nuts Blazing. <laughs> Speaking the of mouth. mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm mouth pretty sure Nuts Blazing is the legs of the podcast. His legs. Oh, are we like the Transformers and shit? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying that every podcast legs. episode, your, your legs, legs out, yeah. man. Your legs out. Yeah. What, do you mean? what do you mean? Sex out. <laughs> these shorts are even shorter. Bro, I'm going to pull these down. I was down. worried. <laughs> the last episode, I was worried one of your nuts is going to come out. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, this guy's swimming, bro. Where are you going to? Bro? Yeah, I need to, get, I need to invest in uh, longer <laughs> shorts. <laughs> He's got the dad shorts, man. Yeah, I need yeah. to get you one of these tables to put in front of your I legs. A, I need a sensor, man. If you could just blank out. He needs an AI for his pants. Can you He's um, basic, blank basic, basic instinct. instinct. Yeah. Blazing instinct. Blazing. Really. Blazing. <laughs> That's blazing instinct. I need, I need that chair, man, so I can do the... We need we need to monetize the the podcast. Bro. Only fans, bro. Sharon Stone over here. Next, this episode where we're going to put pixels all over his, this area <laughs> down here. <laughs> Make it look like it's from Japan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They were like, why is this one guy not wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> Just has his dick out. <laughs> and they're not saying anything about it. <laughs> That's the funny thing, bro. Rock out with my cock out. <laughs> Rock out with my cock out. And that's nuts blazing. Nuts blazing. Nuts. <laughs> nuts, nuts shaving. Nuts. What else? <laughs> nuts sponsored blade. by man. What is it? Man skate. Man skate. But we're not sponsored anymore, so forget it. It's more like a man not sponsored. And <laughs> man not we skate. got also Mr. Wild Thought himself. <laughs> the the Isao King, bro. <laughs> so, so. The, the so Isao. The Isao Sasawan. <laughs> <laughs> he's so dalawao. He's so dalawao. He's so, he's so, he conquered. <laughs> he's so, he conquered. <laughs> it's Mr. <laughs> Christian Garcia. I, yeah, I came. <laughs> I came, I came. I think I, I saw. The, I, I conquered. <laughs> I conquered, I came. <laughs> I came. That's good. And mm. I think we are more refreshed. Our last episode, we were dealing with a lot of fatigue and heat and just a whole bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think this episode, you know, like every time we go fishing, mm. we always say this quote, I got a good feeling about today. Yeah. Is that not jinx? That's not, not jinxing jinx. it? I think it's more of a motivational speak, speaking right. thing. Like, okay. Yeah. Speaking yeah. Pessimistic existence. kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah. sorry, optimistic. optimistic yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't call it your bajo, call it. Well, of course, of course, Filipinos will put like stinky in their work, the, the word for yeah. work, you know, like. Trabajo. It's, it's, oh it's, my oh, God, I just trabajo. got it. Like, why, why does he keep saying this? What do you Nats. mean? <laughs> like, now I get trabajo. Hey, bro. Trabajo. Trabajo. We're here, man. We're Philippine. That yes, not while. Filipinos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Penis. It sounds like uh, the penis. You know, just like one saying after the other. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Nump, by the oh, way. Bro. Saying after saying after saying. We're not Philip. We're, that's where we're Philippine. Yes. Philippine. Yes. Not, not Philippine. No. That's <laughs> Trabango. Trabango. <laughs> and we are here at Common House Studio here to provide you with your weekly content mm. of Filipino, Australian. Abroad, creative, and very original. If you see it elsewhere, tag the cheat coders because we will staunch them. <laughs> Is that really? a threat? <laughs> <laughs> like, all you other podcasts out there. All you other. <laughs> Shout out to all the podcasts yeah. out there doing their thing, bro. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, you'll make it. <laughs> Wait, why did, why did you assume that they were doing shit? <laughs> One day you're gonna make it, bro. <laughs> can we, what if they already make it? <laughs> can we just shout out real quick, Mike yeah. Catterbay, uh, for starting his own podcast oh, after sick. what after attending our podcast workshop. Um, shout out to you, man. Um, what is that? Sea Bay DJ Sea Bay? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. stuff, man. I'm excited about that one, dude. Like, it's yeah. all about cars and shit. Oh, so. shit. Yeah, Ooh. I remember. They should get like you a, on, bro. I, oh, I'd love to, bro. Hey, bro. You should be a guest on his. Hey, mm. man. That's like. Uh, that'll be, that energy that'll be so much fun C-Bay. should I say yeah. it now because Raph said it and then you said it yeah, yeah, yeah. you should be on a guest in this show <laughs> I, think, uh, I reckon I should be a guest on it <laughs> is he oh, actually okay, a guest okay. already hey, so like, like let's, let's start <laughs> off this episode with like th- like what we because like we are we are connected in one sort of thing that make like that makes us common and have common interests and stuff but there's always that one thing 
like you got cars yeah. mm-hmm. like that we want to talk about it, but it just, just if we talk about it it just doesn't connect as well because yeah like, we're in a room for unlikely minded people yeah. like so it kind of gives another 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 branch in our personality to all the people out there that that wouldn't know it's like oh man you know what I, I really love this i have a passion for this that you don't know, guys don't even know about so we'll start off with you because we started talking about it so that's a good, like, like, that's a good well, topic like what well, what you what the the cheat coders um fans and listeners out there would Look, not know, about, know about me yeah I, I mean there's i like cars i mean i think there's a very general uh description of it like i get a bit nerdy about uh specific things about cars and why they work what makes them work well and all that shit and it's it's not even fun at you know majority of the time because 90 percent of the people that do like cars don't like the stuff that i like getting into Mm. you know what i mean because it's not really the fun type of um like say i don't know when you get excited about say you see a a ferrari or whatever man that looks nice it looks it's red and whatever. It sounds good. It's a very it fundamental fast, yeah. stuff that yeah. we can um, uh, connect mm. with. There's there's a very like limited thing there because eventually we're going to both like different things about that one item. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I get uh, passionate about the things that's not very exciting for most people. Yeah. You know what I mean? An example of this is Garcia has like a, uh, it's like a measurement thing inside your car. That yeah. measures like the timing of it. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, the timing of when my ignition hit. Yeah, and if that has to cut back because of shit fuel, like things like that, it just oh, that's kind of like um in video games where you have to get a hit in that certain spot, that, and then you get a good like, like a little boost. Oh, when or when you change gears, no, yeah, no, no, like no, that. no, 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 like, like, this one's more just to monitor the, the actual, actual fuel. Yeah, because we've tuned the car to use the maximum from the fuel that we get here in sydney yeah so if we get a shit batch at the petrol pump and like i want to know about it that way i don't uh ask a lot from my car and then i'll just cruise around for the next i don't know when that tank is empty so you're very scientific that's very technical well i yeah just like very like i like how uh figuring out how things work and then how you can make the most out of it you should be an engineer bro a lot of the things that um we start that why I start watching on YouTube is from engineers because yeah. that's the stuff that they study. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I find it, um, I don't know, man, like it's pretty cool that someone's gone through the effort to, yeah. to, to figure this shit out. Mm. You know? I think what, I think what Raph's referring to is, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Warcraft. Yeah. The game mm. Warcraft, where you have to mine income, like you have to mine gold and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. And then you spend that gold to buy stuff. What it's called is upkeep. So if you're spending more if you're uh spending more than what you're getting then you've got too much of a high upkeep i think that's what it's called i never understood what that meant yeah i'd always come up with a a message right yeah they'd be like high high upkeep and then you've got to you've got to maybe get more mines or spend less so that you're you're in the sweet spot of your upkeep you reckon that's the same thing with like um High maintenance skills. <laughs> there should be a message like a warning. Well, bro, you're spending way too much. <laughs> this is a high up. You need to find a new mine. No, 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 no. But like, not to think about. It. I think with your, me- you can metaphor that for anything, bro. Yeah. You, you got to know your thing. Yeah. To make the best out of it. Like, yeah. if you put the wrong shit in that thing, and that's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna last as long if you did when I uh, put the right things know the right places and stuff you like you know like if you take a girl out to the wrong place oh. that, that's gonna reduce your chances of like you know any anything yeah rather than you so know things blow up that's it so <laughs> i mean she sets my car on fire <laughs> <laughs> so your thing is like you science. know it out about cars and the actual I don't engineering know, like, aspect about yeah it. aerodynamics mm. like um laws of thermal fucking just uh i guess the the thing that holds us back mm. is like limitations whether it's like things just get hot when you try to go fast mm. the the thing that you want to try and solve is getting rid of that heat and what solutions people come up with over time like this things that you really it's not exciting anymore but i like the fact that these these smart motherfuckers found a solution like, i i find that stuff interesting especially when uh, Garcia and I and, and our cousins and stuff would go to the Formula One because they would talk about that kind of yeah. stuff, the, the oh, innovations and, and all that. And that that's interesting to me, but I don't nerd out 
about it as much as Garcia does. Like, they're, he'll be they're, like, they're the forefront of pushing the boundary. Yeah. And I yeah. do see it because, like, it's good that we're talking about these things that we people don't even know about uh, us. But, like, the, I think in past episodes, you can get little sprinkles of it. Mm. It's like, you, you are a very scientific guy in terms <laughs> of, like, you were talking about that when we are talking about the submersibles. Oh, like you were talking about that. Yeah, yeah. You were talking about that in particular. I think last episode you were talking about something like, like yeah. very yeah. physics like. Mm. Like, yeah. it, like it sprinkles on it's throughout cool. past episodes, yeah. but it's good to know that, man, this is all those sprinkles came from this type of thinking. I had no idea. I had no idea what carbon fiber is until like Garcia explained it to me. Mm. Yeah. It's, it, supposed, it's supposed to be like a lightweight material that's just meant to be rigid. Brittle, right? Yeah. 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 Should, we should know. Carbon it's when, fiber rods, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carbon that's fiber why rods. We get it's got a lot of application. Yeah, yeah. 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 we yeah. need to get carbon fiber. Exactly. So. You know, you know back in, not good for a submarine though. Back in the 90s when everyone started painting their hood black. Yeah. That's what they're trying to make it look like. Like, like that carbon yeah. fiber, yeah. Because it, it was popular to even get it was the, like the a, inside. It was like a flex. You know? Wasn't it even the interior? Oh, is, is that yeah, when yeah, everyone's yeah. like, it's like a white car, but the hood's just black? black. Yeah. It might be like completely red, except for the hood. Uh, I thought it was like some. I thought it was some. I'm ghetto type of shit type of thing. Like nah, I'm ghetto, I'm but I'm fancy type gangsters. It's always um, yeah, like trying to mimic the race car look. Yeah. And race cars did that because they, you know, because it's lightweight. So it's like an ap- application for the race or whatever to make the car quicker. Yeah. Everyone just wanted the looks. It's yeah. like, hey, I'm just going to paint my hood black. You know? Hey, so that's another branch of Garcia. Yeah. That you didn't even know about, bro. <laughs> Watch out. I didn't what? even know he was like in deep with those layers of like yeah. engineering and physics and shit like that. Look out for yeah. that episode on um, Mike Catterbay's ep- epi- uh, podcast with Garcia on it. Awesome, oh, dude. He's going to be on it already. Sure. No, 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 yeah, Actually, man. you're not going on that podcast because if you make that podcast blow up, bro, and they take you from me, bro, <laughs> I'll be very heartbroken, bro. Rap's gonna be I thought you loved me. I'm going to go out on there and then start telling Filipino jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you loved me. <laughs> that was our shtick. Oh. I know. God damn. I was going to the that's, other end, done doing stuff. Upsetting. So besides the sleeveless thing, <laughs> Besides fitness or whatnot, what is one thing? Yeah, Don's got a lot you, of things. That the, the I mean, know that you do know. a lot of things, but it's like, what do we don't know? Um, what else does he do? No, you know it out on data. <laughs> I do, but because I, I, I have a similar thing with Garcia that like the reason why I got into martial arts was because I was nerding out about the like the physicality, the anatomy of it, right? Like you mm. can when when you throw a punch your body moves in a certain way. And if you like turn your hip, like a a slightly a little bit more or turn your shoulder a little bit more, you can generate so much more power in it. It's similar to like the, uh, like a power to weight ratio in a car or something like that. And those little uh, tweaks and those little increments when you would improve something would uh, make your performance that much better. And that's the thing that I nerd out on. And I think this is why Garcia and I get along because we, nerd out on these things where it's just like a small incremental change will make for a like a, a bigger a, a much much better performance mm. but we we just do it in different I different think things we, we we get along because we both like bums <laughs> 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 we're both ass men <laughs> but that too <laughs> but also that too i'm more of a cupcake person so uh, why well, have one when you can have both <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey, all about balance. Cupcakes. <laughs> you take the you take the bottom part. You, you put right it on, on top. Right on top. Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, but yeah, that that's the stuff that I know. Out and that's the reason why I enjoy, um, fitness or martial arts or, um, even to a degree with music. There's there's this nerdy element to it that that I that I like. Um, and a lot of my friends are so much better and more knowledgeable about music, but I kind of like the. The, there's there's things about sound that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, that there, there's one of the videos that we did that that I did that I did that I was editing. I put in so many other sound effects in there, not just the music. It was the Nihao Bar one, right? Yeah. Like there's oh, there's yeah. risers and like hits and and when I slowed it down, I made it. I I cut the the high notes of the music so it sounded like you were going in slow motion and this and that and that kind of stuff to make you feel a certain way those little changes and tweaks and stuff like i don't know i nerd out and i i spent probably i don't know three hours on a 30 second video like and and after at the end of it i was like shits (laughs) three hours 
And I and at the end of it, I was like, "This is mad. I love this because every little bit is like hitting and yeah, 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 yeah man. I was that's that's what I nerd out about. You know what? I spent three hours on a thirty second video too when I'm looking for porn. <laughs> 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 just, just edging. Like, that's, right just one. <laughs> that's just the word. That's just the one I'm gonna see. You know, like, three hours. Like, fuck! I gotta start work at eight thirty. <laughs> 35 <laughs> that's the netflix effect right the netflix yeah, yeah, effect yeah. on just you know you know pleasuring yourself <laughs> it's, just, it's the same thing like are put, you still there it's just, just like you just scrolling i am are you still watching the algorithms are throwing the shit that you used you, you like it's like you know yeah. but it's like bro you know, nah, i've seen this so i'm like good. Maybe I want something different. And it's, oh, it's, man. Now know, it's feeding you. Yeah. It's knows what you want because of all the stuff. That's that, I, like, we're spoiled for choice, bro. Back in the day, in the in the dial-up era, we just, you know, yeah. beat off to anything, bro. Like a <laughs> Kmart catalog. Like, like, you would just beat off at the front page because you're not a member. <laughs> I don't know. You know? <laughs> the, Kmart. the Kmart catalog was <laughs> the yeah, shit, yeah. dude. Like, oh, it's the... The, the underwear section. Stuff? Yeah. Oh my I don't know any catalog. Because really. back in the day, there was nothing was for free. Every you had to be. I remember the like, page, uh, and then your membership. Like ugh. you just want to be a member. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, man. I could just go in the front page and just you know do my thing there. The loadings were different. You'd be l- waiting for the images to load, and it's just going like this. It's like, oh yeah. It's now we're just bit by bit. Yeah. Now bit everything's bit. like sport. Bit by sport bit for down. choice. You got the. You can get a high K. It's too much. High definition 4K. It's not good. Brr. Way too much access. Man, uh, quick, quick question much. for you guys though, because yes. Don was mentioning earlier about the adding all these sounds and and I don't know the the tweaking the the things right, and it would take him three hours. But because uh, I noticed his brother, his brother's a DJ, and whenever like we were driving around, um, Ken Don's brother would always point out sounds in the track, mm. but I, I've never touched like a producing tool or. Uh, made music and stuff mm. but do you guys pick up on that shit as well like is it does it take a certain person to go hey i, I see what you did there you know that yeah kind of i think it, it, it depends on what your ear is like if you're like me i tend to be more a person who listens to lyrics okay. right, right, so right. Like, like i'll be paying more attention to what the vocals are doing mm. and like what they're saying and what's mm. written is like hey i see what what kind of rhyme scheme you're going with yeah, yeah, it's an, and then oh okay, I, I kind of see what your cadence is going and why you put that little pause there for more of effect of a punchline type of thing. Nats does it a lot. You know, analyzes and it with yeah, sure. with uh, the vocals more than the yeah, production. Like, a bit like, of both yeah. too. But old older music, maybe during the CD era. So you know, music now gets pumped out really quick and stuff as well. But what I liked about music back then. Because there wasn't much choice, I'd repeat albums again and again. So like, you know, Kanye albums, Eminem albums. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't think, I'm not quite like Don where he, he is a producer. So he probably like really, from the first listen, he's picking things out. Mm. But for me, after a few listens, I'm like memorizing them. It's, it's almost like these little golden nuggets. You're like listening to a song and you're like, oh, I just heard this hi-hat mm. now. I know this, this certain bass line. There's that song with um, Kanye, Common, and um, what's that song again? The, the end of... Uh, it's got that, that violin that oh, yeah. with Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that fucking so song. Gone, so gone. Because he's got yeah. like violins on the left side. It changes the I beat every fucking that, verse. I used that so soul song for one of my studies when I did um, audio engineering. So you had to analyze a song. Yeah. That was the perfect song because like so good. every verse was a different um, different instrumental. Different instrumental type of he thing. He changed the patterns and yeah. that would inspire me when I was making music too. Like, you know what? I'm, I want to do like a break here. I is this like what Travis Scott did, where his song one song sounds like three different songs together? Oh, no, 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 I haven't heard that. I like Kanye because, thing? like, the way that like the like Drake and Travis Scott songs would do, it just completely change. Mm-hmm. It's like the it's vibe changes. No, that's like, different. Yeah. It's the Kanye song, songs, it's the same yeah. vibe. Yeah, it's just oh, that okay. this one has like this one will have a drum pattern with like violins and stuff, and then the next one will have like a different. Um, it will just be the bass line. Yeah, and yeah. then something else, but the rhythm is still the same, and the tune and the yeah. uh, and the key. See, is still shit the like same. this, I don't, I, love that I can't pay attention to. You see what I'm saying? Like the, um, I don't have the ear for it, obviously, it's, and I, I don't have a musician past. Like yesterday when we were doing the, um, the boom rap rap episode, right on the drive to, uh, the second site, me and Don were playing this game of, <laughs> like I've, I've, I'm playing a playlist like of my downloaded songs, mm, yeah. but it's not showing on the screen. So I'll press, I'll, I'll press next, and see who can guess whether, like you pick up what song it is and or the artist, what the, yeah, the artist, and then and then sing along to it type shit. Mm. One of the songs, Don goes, 
that's a fucking keyboard. This is not a real guitar. I'm like, how the fuck do you know this shit, bro? How the fuck? <laughs> it, to me, it sounds like a guitar. But Don's like, nah, listen to this. It's a fucking keyboard yeah, that's thing. Very, that's like a, technical. Like a program. Yeah, yeah. it's programmed in. Yeah. 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 That's, that's I'll something kill people similar. with that game, bro. Yeah. Guessing the song and win the first note. I'll, I'll that's hard. Uh, right. That was an that's actual good. TV I, show back then. We used to do that. I trained myself. Yeah. We used to do that on the show, actually. And you'd, mm. you'd pitch it as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think oh, with hip hop um, heads, it's guessing the samples is a big one. I love doing that shit. I love. I love, that I love when they really like really cut up samples. It's almost indistinguishable to the original. But the, you hear like glimpses of it. Sometimes it's like, when the this sample like is something. exactly the same as the original, then it's like yeah, it's a bit lazy. But That's lazy. Like, you know. That actually distracts me when I'm listening to music. Yeah. Mm. If I hear a sample in it, my brain won't. I won't care about the song. I'm like, I need to find what this sample is. I need. I to love know. finding samples. Eh? And then I get There's the original a song for that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can just yeah. like what was sampled in the song who sampled com. and then I get the original as well I often mm. like it as well just imagine being it. in 80s bro once you hear a sample I like love it, you, man. you have to go down to the shop and pick out some things nah, and man. listen oh, and stuff Spotify and, and Google uh, That's you yeah pre-internet was shit yeah. <laughs> alright let's go to Nats Blazing so what is the one thing yeah. that no one knows about Nats Blazing it's, uh, well, I think your one's a bit more mysterious cause like it's mysterious, mysterious, mysterious it's, so, it's so short term when I like things uh, there's nothing really consistent about me. That's the that's the issue. Like I'll have short term things that I'm really into, and then I'll drop it completely, and it's like I don't know it anymore. So it's like I have like a short amount of RAM. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you're and into computers as well. Well, I, I do like computers, yeah. And then when that RAM's filled up, like I had a computer phase, and I built a computer. I was like really into it. Now tell me now, like build it. I'm like, nah, not really. I'm. We see. I'm over. We've seen it. the Bitcoin. And you've seen, yeah, I was gonna bring that up. Like during that era when I was really into crypto, I was really into it because that's the only thing my mind was occupied. And I'd say I was pretty. I wouldn't say I was like a like like a technical analyst type person, but I, I get really close to that level of just how obsessed I get with things. Mm -hmm. So when it came to to that crypto phase, that's all I could think of. And then it was so funny because I'm trying to do the podcast. And my mind's just not there half the time. And then I know you guys were like, just give me an alley -oop. I could still, like, I, talk I, about talk about your thing, Nats. I like, could look at the, the screen and I could tell that you're looking at crypto. Probably, bro. yeah. Looking at a gra <laughs> some graph or some looking shit. looking at charts. Looking at charts. I'm just like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, to the moon. Oh, fuck. And then, but yeah, it was really hard. I remember you guys were like, oh, like talk about NFTs or something. Mm. And I was like, oh. like, yeah, but you guys aren't going to get it. You guys aren't really into it. And I tried... Raph zoned out completely. <laughs> <laughs> with, with and it's just awkward, you know? It's just awkward. <laughs> with the crypto and NFT thing, because that's something that only happened in the last, yeah, like, say, decade. Years, yeah. yep. Was there something that you nerded out about before, like, even as a kid? Um, well, rap was a big one. It was, yeah. like, the music. And then I'm not really that into it as much before. Um, and, yeah, like, just drawing. I used to draw a lot. Oh. I was really good. I was, like, second in my art class. There was only hey. one guy better than me. Fuck that guy. Uh, and fuck um, that I was guy. terrible terrible at um, reading stories, mm. um, reading and anything. But I was very good at making my own stories up. So my mm. first book I ever made was a coloring book about a snail. And the teacher was like, fuck, this kid's gifted. But then, then like, it was, like, dumb. And it's like, wow, you're smart. What? And then I got boosted to, like, the smart English class. And then I bombed at everything, so they put me back. <laughs> it was like, I was only good at writing stories and poetry, but punctuation, grammar, just everything else was just shit. And uh, yeah. You were on the, the creative, the creative side. side. I was just yeah. like, yeah. just anything. And I had to be interest driven. And then, what happened to this snail? A snail, I, I, like, you know. Can you re release that? Maybe. I don't Please? know. I've got to find it. Uh, send it as a. Send it as a thing. I think you can make a modern day version where. Of That'd the snail? Be yeah. yeah, man. It'd Maybe. Be like Scarface for the new generation. Scarface. You know how they're this old generation. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Just I was like, the one. snail didn't do any coke, but yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> it, it can. <laughs> Not yet, it hasn't. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. The new one. You know, like know. old old children stories. You yeah. know, they're they're pretty messed it up if you look matter. if you read deep, deep yeah. into the layers of things, bro. Yeah, Ring a Ring a Rosie is about the plague. The plagues. I think. Wait, like, the, the last thing though. I think what drives me to interest though, so as a conclusion, when I get into something there is always a uh, motivation behind it. And mm -hmm. I think like, maybe Don brought this up before, more, more my entrepreneurial side, like anything I do sort of has to come in line with, it just becomes my career now. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I was into crypto and I was like trying to make that into like a, like for, for a time it was yeah, kind yeah. of thing. So when I get into something, it's like, how can I turn this into a business? 
Because that really w- what makes me wake mm. up. Or At the end yeah. of the day, you want to. It's always like that. You want to love what you're doing. I love that's, what I. Yeah. yeah. That's what you. That's I what you did do. with Round Circle, man. Yeah, yeah with the music. A, like, all right, I like music. All right, let's make it into a business, or we can make it like two events or whatever. Yeah. It's always the case. Yeah. Can you do the same with cheat code, bro? I mean, like, we got done for it this time, so yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it's okay. Yeah. Come on. I'm taking a break. I'm taking a back seat on this one. All my other businesses didn't work, so. <laughs> I don't want to like jinx it or anything. But the, <laughs> you're, the, you're the dude that tries, but I try everything. Because I always say about like with the successful people, is I just the try. Ones I just that keep trying. Tried one more time than mm. the other. And I got to give a shout out, like big props. This this character trait is literally my mum. Yeah. Because her whole life she's just done businesses, no matter yeah. what. She's done everything. Like yeah. I can name a million businesses. And in her sixties, she built her business. Let like, the one that she has now, which in I'm her working 60s, for. Bro. And it's that's very dope. successful, and that, like that's that like that's a true testament of like just keep trying and do something and it'll hit. And she's your mom she's is, killed it. And I was like, wow, CEO, you smashed man. it. Yeah, she's killed it. So that's gangster, man. It's really good. Yeah, it it just goes to show like that there is that entrepreneurial and like industrious gene in Filipinos. Mm. I think it's ADHD, to be honest. But anyways, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's the real shit. <laughs> I think it's really a oh, diagnosis. Can, can I have <laughs> some of that? No, no, no. We're, <laughs> gonna, we're gonna be positive about that. It's it's the entre- entrepreneurial spirit, you know? Yeah. The CEO and so. all. When, whenever, because I, I work in insurance, right? And yeah. obviously that's a big part of uh, owning a business, like having to manage something like that. Mm. Every time I'm talking to a Filipino business owner, there's something inside me that's just I don't know, pride maybe. Mm. It's like you're fucking, you know, you're doing it. Yeah, that's you know, because for yeah. majority of us, we're always taught to just get a good job or whatever, yeah. Yeah. not necessarily create the jobs yeah. or, mm. you know, like head an industry or something. Yeah, I got to shout out to people who are on businesses, man. Mm. I'm a sole it's, trader. It's you, bro. Like, yeah, dude. I own businesses, you, and it's hard, bro. Mm. Yeah. It's one of the hardest things you could do, bro. Like things, do it's one of those things when you think you're doing good, some shit just pops up and be like as a reminder it's like hey you gotta do this shit you gotta do this shit if your business one you gotta think like way ahead like of your of your moment Mm -hmm. and stop being in a moment and think ahead of your the five year plan ten year plan just to Mm. you know keep yourself afloat you gotta bro it's the hardest like I've been doing this since 2019 and and it's it's fulfilling yeah as well as bro it's been the hardest thing that i ever had to do but at the same time i'm waking up with good stress mm-hmm. you know like i'm waking up being like i know i said i'm not a morning person but <laughs> i'm waking up being like you know what <laughs> i'm waking, waking up, up like, doing this shit bro oh, this is what, <laughs> at the end of the day i'm like I'm, i'd rather do this stressing about this shit than stressing about someone else's dream you know what i mean yeah, yeah. choose yeah. what to stress about you know like i don't want to be stressing out like and like things affecting my life and mentally when it's someone else's dream i'd rather be in my mm. dream than anything else so uh, yeah that's but shout out to everyone that's gonna go th- that's gone through the business journey but well, man it's hard bro. dude when when you um i guess jumped you know doing your own thing like being a sole trader i guess um what were the types of things that challenged you in the first couple of years that um like you know COVID aside mm. what would have been like something that you wish you knew on those first couple of years what's uh, like financial like get yourself like financial get an ready. accountant kind of thing yeah, yeah get accountants get someone to manage get yourself, savvy maybe of, like, like when you're when, when i like when you get in there when i got in there i'm just like okay i think i could survive like you know a couple of years you know i'm, I'm you know i've saved up this much yada 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 and then things just start to add up and stuff. Right, you got to right. think about taxes and how yeah. how much mm, tax yeah. really fuck you up, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you don't know how much tax fucks you up until you're like a like a business owner. I'm like, bro, shit. But that that can work to your advantage eventually when it, right? when it's booming. Yeah, you flip it and then it actually becomes like the best thing. Owning a business, mm. it's like you can work. You can cook the books, not yeah. in a legal you, way, but once you, you know figure I mean. things out in that you, you stage, get, it's it's more beneficial yeah, for you to because so, you're stuck. You feel like as a worker, you know, you're kind of just you're in the perimeters of the system. Yeah, right. you're, you're you can't like, really do much yeah. with anything. And also, no, like there's a difference between being a freelancer and a sole trader or a business owner. Like, decide who you want to be first before diving mm. into some shit. Like, if you want to be a freelancer, yeah, be freelancer. 
if you want to be a business owner be a business owner like go all in on it like differences like it's freelancer is like kind of like someone who's working on their own terms but are always working for other people type of Wait, thing. Wait, is freelance right. the same as a sole trader, right? Yeah, like it's pretty yeah. much, yeah. 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 A business owner, yeah, you've you got your own business. Yeah, you've got, it's, it's you've proprietary. Got your own system. It's, it's been, yeah. you've been put, like registered business. Yeah. And then you got to deal with the, everything that a business deals with. But with a with a freelancer, you're pretty much just like a roaming around employee it's like the, the it's like a gig yeah, as like someone who's doing gigs basically. labor sluts yeah that's it bro that's <laughs> like okay. Uh, and, uh, that's okay to be a labor slut he's like get your money the way that you can bro like mm. but I always just at the start just be more honest with yourself what do you think will work for you mm-hmm. would you be better as a freelancer or would you better as a business owner because everyone when they when they do the flip they're like oh i want to be a business owner because you know you gotta dream big and shit just comes to it you know like you know what I notice? A lot of uh, people, they just watch way too much motivational YouTube and videos. never get anything They'd done. They'd be like, oh, I want to be a business owner. But they're not passionate about what the business is. And I find that that's when, you know, when things go to shit, you go. Mm. Oh, they care about the product. They don't give at a the, fuck about looking what at the, the end result was. almost. They're yeah. just, just looking at the success. They're owner. looking at like yeah. the yeah. title and like the, I don't know, whatever Whereas you, like that. filmography, like yeah. that's what you that's would do your passion bro. yeah this yeah. is what i've came to a point is like if i'd never do videos again i feel like i have nothing else to give to the world type of thing mm. yeah, so fair. i'm running my whole passion through doing videos and eventually you know having a whole video like you know company that just like that gives people like storytelling because we all talk about storytelling yeah storytelling is the one of the things that i love the most yeah. and mm. it comes in, and it comes into fruition into video telling like dobby's video that i did oh, that, that like that, I, that that shouts to marvin being the dop marvin and and, <laughs> and everyone else that was involved bro that was one of the videos i look back and be like yo we did something bro like That's i don't dope. care how many people see this shit i created this shit and with this group of people boom we created something beautiful. That was such a good I, night. I know. I know that we. And I, I think we talked about it on one of the like a previous episode. But the we were we were trying to figure out how to make the smoke below. Like the, the, in, in that film, in the music video, there's smoke going and and um, like Dobby's dancing around the smoke. But then there's also instruments and 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 uh, like artifacts and stuff. Mm. And there's smoke going over that. The smoke machine ran out of smoke. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right like the ice the ice the dry yeah. ice the brand oh, out of dry yeah. ice so we we're like how are we gonna do this it doesn't look like the way we want to do it and um it was viv uh prince was there like all of us were trying to figure it out we started um pumping the smoke underneath the blanket the cloth, oh, yeah. the cloth. to build it up a bit more yeah, and then we would it would started billowing out or coming out of yeah, from underneath it the thing. through the thread it was so cool oh, man. and then we were so excited about that shit, eh? Yeah. when we figured like, out we were, we were like oh my god this is amazing genius yeah. it's one of those things i man. tried vaping on set and it didn't work <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you tried this isn't working guys you're gonna try everything. i'm a trier and we got to do this in our own time our own space just yeah. to enjoy creating stuff that's, and sick, that's yeah, what man. i want to do for a like lifetime and be like you know what i want to be able to just live my life as a creator just to create stories and that's the thing that you know doubt about that yeah. I, don't know, I guess not a lot of people maybe they do because they hear it from the pod but yeah. i hear it from the pod when you're criticizing movies and stuff mm-hmm. right yeah. and not not necessarily in a bad way even in a good way but your your film knowledge and man there was i, I was so out of my depth before when you started talking about like um end game and all that shit i was like fuck dude <laughs> I just liked it because people were like killing each other and <laughs> shit. He's going like, oh, on the first act aliens. he did this. The second act, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, Storytelling, What's bro. the act? It's there, bro. What? It's bro. Everyone it's was really... acting in that movie. You can't have a movie without a story, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 Referring to. Well, like, I, I wanted to put the one thing that I love that yeah, not yeah, many people it, love um, or know. And like, if I'd say it on the po- if I talk about it on a podcast, people will, will probably be like, okay, um, I'll zone out for a bit is uh professional wrestling oh yeah you do oh, like wrestling yeah, yeah, i yeah. watched professional wrestling since i was uh 1998 which was like mm. when i was 12 years old bro when goldberg speared the fucking hulk hogan and won the world title and then everyone went ballistic and i was like that was like got me hooked on <laughs> professional <laughs> wrestling bro i was like bro my older cousins and i like well we were into wwe or wwf back in the day 
yeah. right? And so, but yeah, we love that stuff as well. Right. And I didn't understand it. I didn't get a, another appreciation for it until later in life when I saw a, a pro, like a, a, a wrestling match live mm. in Singapore. They were doing these flips and stunts and mm. like Japanese pro wrestlers. Mm. They're crazy because yeah, they do like just stuff. so agile and like they're jumping off That'd the turnbuckles. And, and the doing thing all this with stuff, Japanese man. pro wrestling is like they have this thing called strong style. Where, where they actually it's a thing where you know how wrestling is fake or scripted whatever you call it yeah. strong style is where they actually hit they you. hit each other right they hit Shit, each other really. yeah Legit. I've seen videos of this yeah. I was like I don't know if they're going off the books here because mm. it just looks like he's actually annoyed and he's going mm. fuck it I'm gonna go full force I'm not acting anymore yeah and I was, and I was thinking like because it's Japanese I, I don't know what the deal was mm. I thought it was just two actors that fucking go fuck this Wow. Look her at it, and they, they bro. I was Proper like, is, is, is anyone gonna stop this shit, bro? Like there was people they'll, watching they'll this, it, but at the same time, it's scripted. There's that like they'll thought by the, line where they. It is be an like, element so of like I know this guy's gonna hit me the, now, mm. but like yeah, he's still the thing, hit. The thing that I, the thing hey. that I, I mean, I take issue when people say oh pro wrestling is fake because yes, it is scripted, but the story is scripted. Yeah. The stunts and the stuff they do it's on quite, that's still quite real. dangerous. That it eh? takes athleticism. It takes like Bro. actual. Uh, Was it do a flip of a ladder and then yeah. land on the it's table pretty, with someone on it and see if that's real or fake? Yeah. It's you like almost I mean? like Daredevil stunt type thing, right? Like Sorry. you're not gonna say that's fake, but it's still like there's a high risk involved. It's like a real life Marvel or that's, anime. That, yeah. The, the thing I don't get is like people say that it's like, all right, ooh, don't watch personally. It's fake. I'm like, bro, it's like watching an Avengers movie, bro. Yes, but, that's silly. But in live, like, you know, yeah. you know, shit. These, these guys are safety fucking Broadway shit. actors. They have safety precautions in jazz, movies. Bro. These guys are doing it proper live. So, yeah. Yeah. definitely, yeah, definitely. And, bro, like, the thing about professional wrestling is with the stories, character work. Uh, I love the promos where, you know, they just hype each other up and, like, they'll be, you know, they'll, what you gonna do? When Hulkamania comes to you, what you gonna do, brother? All that stuff. I yeah. love the drama of that, and I love the the one thing I love about. Prefer, the, I think most people love it is the the illusion of the whole thing. Mm. The like a good professional wrestler is a person that can really make things look like they're getting ba- beaten the fuck out mm-hmm. or beating someone the fuck out, but really, at the, when they work walk behind the curtains, they're like, bro. It is, you know, yeah. it's, it's all it's all a vibe. It's like, bro, we made people think there's a yeah. good guy, a bad guy out there. Yeah, I made they made the every single punch look real. Every every flip look like a meaning. It is like part. a violent Broadway show. Yeah, thing, it's a vi- right? it's, it's Broadway with chairs, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I'm really talking. Is. Like, like, you reckon we could do that? Like, like, nah, like, nah. like I can't. Hey, don't, don't, don't hit me, hit me with the camera. It's <laughs> like I was, I, I watch behind the scenes and um, all that stuff on, no, on YouTube and stuff. And there's a thing called like, you, the, if you wanted to do professional less wrestling, the first thing you need to do is learn to bump. And mm. bump is like, just fall on the ground the right way without breaking any, like without hurting yourself. So you have you, to. You know what I would way. like to know. These are things I think about. How do you even, what's the career path? Like, how do you even get into this? Like, do you have uh, to be a, an ex-wrestler or some sort of so fighter? Or usually, do you just need to know the industry? Well, and usually that's people who are athletes and who are athletic yeah. can be pro wrestlers. Like, look, like obviously, there's like then, there's Logan Pauls, right? But he's yeah. like, that's like almost branding and marketing to be real, or whatever. Most professional wrestlers, the whole, back they in the day, like they the OG start, ones. They, the OG ones, professional wrestling was their second option. Yeah. Their first option was most likely football. Or bodybuilding. Or, or gotcha. bodybuilding. Or something to do with that, like with sports. And they're like, they fucked up their ankle or they're too old to play really? like, like football. And they're mm. like, oh, what the fuck am I going to do now? Yeah, All I got is this body. Yeah. <laughs> and right. this, this athletic, like, I'm so athletic. Like, what am I going to do now? And then the professional wrestling came into the things like, you can be like up to your 40s to do a professional wrestling. So it's nice. And then that became a thing, bro. And now. Now it's a whole like uh, phenomenon now, um, and I've been to a yeah, show man. before. Like, I'd like to like to. It has its ups and downs, day. bro. But there's, there's some here in Australia, in yeah? Sydney. Yeah. We should go, man. Um, yeah. Is there any Filipino ones? 
No, well, <laughs> there is. Yeah. If you watch the is documentary there? in Netflix, yeah, they're, they're, it's called. Um, I think it's like Street Life, Street Night Life, and um, in Asia, and there's the Filipino um, episode, mm. and they showed um, Filipino professional wrestling. The guy goes, "What you gonna do, <laughs> Kuya?" <laughs> I've seen something similar. I think in um, Thailand, you know where? Um, where was it? Phuket, and then they got people fighting, like they do kickboxing, and it looks fucking real. But then they go to the crowd and they get people in the crowd to start fighting each other too. What? My, <laughs> no, my, my, no. Oh, yeah, my yeah, cousin yeah, entered it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's legit. My cousin entered it. Yeah? You know, yeah, um, yeah. It's called Fight Club, bro. No, no, no. But there's people watching. Oh, yeah, that is Fight it's Club. Like part of the, it's like entertainment though, right? <laughs> but it's entertainment. But no, yeah. it's actually it's it's real because my cousin who I went with. Like, yeah, we they actually ago. beat the she fuck out She went up and yeah, the, when she, she was like, I'll go. And I was like, what the fuck? And then the, the person that challenged her was like some Islander chick. And I was like, I would get beaten up by this chick. Hmm. But my cousin is really good. She stood her ground. She's never been in a fight, never thrown a punch before. And she got punched in her face like hundred, like so many times. But she never got knocked out and <laughs> they called on. it a draw. Was this, hang on, hang on. Yeah. yeah. Was this a pro wrestling thing or were you just in some like no, parking lot Thailand. somewhere? No, Thailand, bro. Thailand? Yeah, yeah. Thailand. Oh, yeah they do that. Like with those um, places where... Um, it's like a, a nightly thing. Yeah, it's like at a, night. A, uh, it was a it was a normal like a bar. We walked in and we're like, yeah. oh, there's entertainment. It's like, does anyone in the crowd want to fight? And I was legit. <laughs> someone got like punched. It starts they, bleeding. They have um, different versions too. Like the floor will be lined with dry leaves of like you know the um, palm leaves. Yeah. The the ground is just covered in them, and then the two fighters they'll be blindfolded. Oh, so they try to like hear the footsteps and stuff all right and then try and swing but like as an as a spectator it's funny as fuck it's right as fuck. you know like it's that it's that kind of thing yeah they'll, yeah. they'll ask people from the crowd complete amateurs and they, they and then you win a you win a, just you win a bucket of alcohol <laughs> yeah, yeah so so your, your cousin <laughs> fought this per other person yeah. was the other person like part of the no, production no, no, just like no, they're all, crowd. all crowd that's people. crazy it's all crowd people you get like a what is that thing you put headgear. on you get headgear okay but like still the next day she, she couldn't eat like she was like I'll just get soup do you get boxing gloves and stuff yeah gloves okay. yeah, Don's yeah. Don's getting a hard on thinking was, about yeah, it yeah, I know yeah, he wants to go right let's get now. A, okay, bro. I want to pretend I'm an amateur you would smash it man people no, because that's that's nuts to me like for for us when when we're training and stuff, this guy's we, we take care to like be 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 controlled when we're hitting each other and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But then but that's Asia, man. You're just in Asia, just going, yeah. Who wants to fight somebody else? It's no what? rules. Hey, it's, it's no rules, the land bro. of Muay Thai. It is we're in Phuket. All right, some cool. people some them. people yeah. want to go <laughs> out for a drink. No, 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 some Fifi people want to fight exactly sure. Fifi 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 Islands. Yeah, it's pretty good. Go pee pee. Pee pee. Islands good. Islands. Wrestling in Philippines, eh? Yeah, I, I saw it on the on the documentary, bro. I would love to see. I'd love you know. I'd love the entertainment. Like, I'd love the entertainment, the drama in the Philippine wrestling. You know what? My, my favorite meme. It's it's a meme mocking rep, rep, professional wrestling. Is like if wrestling's fake, what do you call this? Yeah, and it's I the love funniest that shit. shit. Wait, is bro? that guy slapping the reporter it's around? The, it's the it's the guy with um one of it's um one guy is like the, the Michael Jackson. That's his gimmick. Yeah, and he's just doing Michael Jackson moves to like um wrestle this oh, other guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's this other one where like I get it. it's either uh, like a kid wrestling uh, um, an adult and the adults full selling it like like as if it's like, <laughs> like it's like being like, thrown yeah. around <laughs> yeah and it looks real as well it's like oh bro if you're a good wrestler you'll make a kid look like a million bucks that's true yeah. than, than mm -hmm. anything bro so people don't understand that it's aspect complete instead like, yeah. of Robert Kelly <laughs> it's, I, <laughs> sorry I, I mentioned I that. figure like pro wrestling <laughs> apologies I, pick, I figure pro wrestling is the like an athletic teleserio it is bro that's what yeah. it is it's just yeah because you got the off ring drama as yeah well. yeah right the drama's just, behind it just athletic and then they punch <laughs> on for real like they realize they're brothers and sisters yeah. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> if we make bro. wrestling a teleserio that'd be hilarious bro one wrestler's from a rich family <laughs> the other one's from a pool family <laughs> turns out they're brothers Bucket and butt, sisters I think Something. we just covered all <laughs> Telus area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Star Wars movie. How can. Uh, why are you so nice to this Katulong, mom? <laughs> <laughs> that's your. That's your. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then they switch somehow. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I look like a princess from another place. <laughs> WWF friend. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> World Wrestling Wawa and Preneration. <laughs> yeah, Preneration. Yeah, WWK. Still MMK. <laughs> WWK. World Wrestling Kayo. <laughs> World Wrestling Mukaya. <laughs> World Wrestling Mukaya. Mukaya. Alam mo. Alam mo Joker. Alam mo Joker. Alam mo Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Bro, if you smell what the rock is lutui, <laughs> lutui. <laughs> he said lutui, lutui. Ah, uh, if you can amui what the buto is lutui. Ah, <laughs> uh, just butcher it even more. Uh, bro. But yeah, that's that's well, that's what we are with cheat coders. We love other shit as well. Mm. That's cool, man. And it's good to let you guys in 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 more on the different layers of each other. Layers like an onion. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's move on to the next segment. Let's go with. You'll learn some stuff about Don, us. White Hungarian salami. Yeah, it's yeah, it's man. interesting that you like um, you brought up other things that you like to do. Me, for instance, like I. I like I, I like to bake sometimes. That's nice. And I did try to become. What? A, yeah, I like to bake sometimes. Yeah. Um, Who is this guy? During during the pandemic, <laughs> I was I was like making banana bread. I told you, like I was doing protein and stuff like that. Oh, because you watched oh, uh, that. Yeah. You watched yeah. Brother's Son and the main character. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a mad gangster guy, churros. but he likes to bake. He's a baker. You know, he's got the nah, soft side. He's going for that um, aesthetic. Yeah, very. Yeah. But I'm like, hard, yeah. But I bake. So so <laughs> there was a, there was a time when I did try to be a baker, but I didn't make enough dough. He's got his own What's going on? <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's funny. So I started, I started to become a stand-up comedian, right? And then I was telling jokes, and I was pra- trying to practice. I told, told my bike uh, some jokes, but the bike was too tired to laugh. What the fuck is happening, dude? <laughs> is this a bit? Is this a bit right yeah, now? Yeah, this is a bit. It's a bit. Tell, tell us uh, another one, though. Tell, tell us another one. If you can, get, right, if okay. you can make one to of us, us crack, bro, that's okay. your mission. All right, all right, all right. I so, laughed because it was so, painful, but anyway. So, like, <laughs> and because because I didn't have much of an audience, I was like telling inanimate objects, like you know. And I, I got a joke about um, a, a vacuum, but I don't want to tell it because it sucks. Oh, yeah. bro. My vacuum, my vacuum goes both ways, so like it sucks and it blows. <laughs> <laughs> now the, re- the reason why <laughs> your vacuum is bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bisexual. God damn. The reason why I bisexual. am bringing up and doing the like the horrible laugh track is, and you guys are gonna hate this, but I hate that obnoxious laugh sound that you hear every time it comes. there's this look. That, the Filipino one. That Filipino laugh sound. I hate that. Do it again, do it again. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. They, yeah, they play that a lot. Is it that? That's not the one. That's not the one, but I know I which one you're talking about. It's, it's like, it's like more high pitched. It's a high pitched one. <laughs> yeah. <It's like> that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. But I know, I know what you you're know talking what, about. I know yeah, what yeah. you're talking about. It's, hang on. It, it, anyway. It's that one. It's a TFC one. But I wanted to look into it. It, it has actually come from Eat Bulaga, like a, a, a TV show called Eat Bulaga. That. From it's still on. Yeah, still going. It's yeah, still the going. late. It, it started in the late seventies, early eighties, and um. But I wanted to do research. This is research again. But I wanted to do research and figure out why the hell that sound, like that particular sound, we use for everything. But I couldn't find the origin of that sound, the like the high pitched laughing sound. But I started diving deeper, deeper into laugh tracks itself. Mm. So like in sitcoms, what you hear is someone will tell a joke. If it's not necessarily funny, there'll still be a laugh track. And yeah, this yeah, came yeah. about with like in tele- when television started happening, I think it was the 60s or the 70s. Instead of having a live audience, they built a machine that recorded the laughs of, of audiences. And they would just press buttons to just make it sound like there was a, a live audience. I know where you're going with this, right? Yeah. And and so, oh, and 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 because and because like, Philippines was uh, very much influenced by America, we started including that in our TV shows. So if someone would say something, even if it wasn't funny, it would signal the the audience to laugh, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And, th- and that's why there's that annoying high pitched, you know, laughing sound the thing. The funny thing that I found was that um, let me see if this is the one though. <clears throat> I love it, bro. 
He hates it so much. He re- he did the he research, did a research of around the history. Well, why or do a, I hate this? Research how much I hate this. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's it. Yeah. See. <laughs> It almost sounds like a like a. It's like variations of like a, a sped up laugh. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was yeah. that sound, but they just sped it up, right? Yeah, um, the original. That was at the sample. The original one's the one I played. It just sounded oh. lower. Mm. Oh. I, I I I put it into uh, producing uh, software, and I slowed it down to see if it sounded like anything. But then yeah, it's just it's just some random laugh that they decided to put on it. I hate it so much. He hates it so much that he fucking <laughs> produced the track out of it. <laughs> I'll find sample out it. what it sounds like in a lower tone. And I'm going to sample so it and make a beat out of it. <laughs> hates it so much. So much. Hate it. Yeah, the Timberland. And, and, and like back sound. in the 1970s, they did a laugh track. So appara- apparently they did a study that, that um, early on in the 70s that people would respond better to laugh tracks in, in sitcoms. Um, and then later on, they found out that like you didn't necessarily need it, but they still had it in TV shows. So uh, there's a, the, a thing on if you look up on YouTube, sitcoms without laugh tracks, and it's really really weird. So say for instance, it, Friends it changed the tone. Yeah, it changed the tone. Yeah, I know. Like there's there's this scene where Ross talks about attacking women. Oh yeah, it sounds dark. And like immediately you're like, that's not funny. Mm-hmm. And then I'll play I'll, I'll play the scene just so it makes sense. today's class and let's remember let's be safe out there great class <laughs> yeah yeah i was watching it's better if you don't see it hey a couple of questions though um you know about that that last move where that woman tripped you and then pinned you to the floor what what what, what would you do next well then she'd take the keys and try to jam no the no, no 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 what would you do next who me the attacker yes that's right see there's supposed to be laughs there and and he's talking about attacking no, 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 women, but they keep, keep playing because no that's the best part okay he keeps he gets, he gets really into it work it's okay. I mean, they're they're my friends. In fact, I, I I was married to one of them. You attacked your ex-wife. Oh no no no! <laughs> I tried. He sounds like a serial killer. Yeah. Maybe we could attack them together. See, without the laughs, and there's supposed to be laughs in there every time. He's like, no no, like I married one, and mm. there's supposed to be laugh in there, but like it's not funny without the laughter behind it you know what i mean yeah and, and you've noticed on chico the snippets every time <laughs> every time <laughs> there's a joke yeah, it always pans him. off to dawn Someone like, like, this is the, the best one is it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if there was one i'm definitely putting that in the snippet bro <laughs> okay, wait, wait. we gotta stand up <laughs> <laughs> Record that and use that for every clip now. Yeah, yeah. Just do that. <laughs> it's the same one. Yeah. It's the same one. My clothes just change like out he's of nowhere. Throwing, throwing sanity away. <laughs> but that's the thing. I think that's the one of the most um, when they when people watch our snippet, they love the fact that um, we laugh. That, that you know we're laughing at our yeah. jokes and it, mm. it kind of like it became it became uh, it becomes more contagious that way. Yeah. Then they will get them to laugh. So like that's kind of like a. A mind trick of an entertainer type of thing, mm. or in, in in the industry where you know if you hear laughter, you can't help but laugh, or it lightens up the situation type of thing. The the reels thing. You know what um, I really want? Like instead, I want them to do the opposite. If they would like, put laugh track on a serial no, killer, they show <laughs> they do no, 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 <laughs> not a serial a laugh track shows. on like what Schindler's List the movie, but seri- oh. serious shows they've done that. Yeah, that'll be so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very um, kind of eerie, actually, when you think about it. Mm. And the fact that that laugh track, all those people are dead already. <laughs> oh, Jesus! I so thought much. that's where you were going. Yeah, I thought that's where you. Were going. But it was—it's true, though. I mean, that's yeah, the that laugh is track. True. They've been u- reusing it, so all those people there. There's actually no some like here. I've watched shows where they actually actually record it in front of an audience. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you can tell because there's always this one person that laughs louder <laughs> yeah. than everyone else. Or well, like they they <laughs> laugh longer. <laughs> they laugh. Yeah. Longer. Everyone's already stopped. Like, <laughs> Oh, they're laughing at the <laughs> wrong spots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. It's like, oh, this is actually real shit. Yeah, they're in yeah. front of the live audience. And then, you know, they get, they're getting directed to do what yeah. they do. And then there's that one person. Definitely on st- st- late night stand up 
what is it? Mm. Late night shows. Late they night do shows, that for yeah, sure. Yeah. They've got the sign applause, Applaud. laugh. Or yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Just one person. You've been a great audience. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Well, yeah, oh, could you, your hatred for the Filipino laugh, um, laugh track? <sighs> man, that's, I don't know. That's my um. Maybe it's maybe it's ADHD. <laughs> maybe it's, you know, I it's just you know, it's just the Filipino. They have that too. They have yeah, all no, of those like, sounds. Like, that's that. That's their version of an air horn, bro. Like, what? Like, if there's a punchline, they're gonna throw a little laugh track. Oh, the laugh it. track. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I guess it is a bit overused. Very overused. They spam it, man. You know, who uses that the most, man. So live streaming is a thing. You know, Twitch, when I go on like Kumu and Twitch or whatever, yeah. right? When you see like Filipino live streamers and stuff, when there's nothing to talk about, they'll spam that laugh track <laughs> just to go, oh, it's keep your attention going. Yeah. It's fucking annoying, dude. Yeah. That's the thing that turned me away. We need like, to revamp it. We need to update uh, it. I used to like this person. Now I hate their guts. <laughs> <laughs> well, what should be the replacement of the laugh track? Good jokes. <laughs> just, just good. You know what I mean? Yes. Effort. Just good content. You know what I mean? 100%. Content. Good content. Yeah, dude. Better content. But I don't know, man. It's like a, it's paying out the, the fact that, I don't know, like he's really just trying to cover up or stall time or whatever. Mm, mm. And let me play this annoying sound. Yeah. It's like, ah, <laughs> stop it, dude. Mm. Make me turn away. Even YouTube videos, people would put that oh, yeah, hell yeah. It's um, all right. it's all right. you can in their edit. Yeah. Um, and I, I'd stopped watching videos of, because it? of it, bro. Like, it I became a Filipino thing. trope. Like, it, it, like mm. yeah. if you wanted to Filipinoize your Filipinize. content, mm. it would either, it would have to have like you know, adobo, the Filipino flag, and the Filipino laugh track, you know, <laughs> to make it more you know Filipino thing. You know, like <laughs> that's his impersonation of it. it. Sounds like a dolphin, bro. <laughs> I think I think we can do better though, like as people. But you know what I mean? Because yeah. then, at what point do we stop watching someone's content? Like, do we watch it because he's got the laugh track there, and it's mm. like, oh, he's telling me it's funny, so it's got to be funny? Yeah. Or are we making decisions for ourselves? You go, all right, I watch this kind because I think he's funny, even yeah. if he doesn't put the laugh tracks on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's just mm. the laugh track itself, like. Because I think like it's just, yeah, tedious. the modern day laugh track and stuff, like still, there's still some shows that use the modern day laugh track, and uh, or a laugh track in a modern day show, and it's not distracting. I could imagine this being a bit more. It's it's a bit more. This this laugh track is not more yeah, so. Cool. It, it doesn't blend in the background. Yeah. Once it's on, it's like in your face type of thing. Like in the seventies when they started television, they created a machine that had different laughs, and then. They, they kind of pressed buttons so that it would sound like a live audience and different sounds. So at least it's a little bit more dynamic than just spe- using the same, same, like, <laughs> di- like the same damn bloody this sound. This is one all dude the time. button it's mashing. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a joke. It's just the sound, bro, because if, 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 rep- if it was repetition, then I would get sick of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, and people, I'm pretty sure that. people will get sick of that too, but for yeah. me, no, I can hear air horns everywhere, type of thing. It's, it's kind of like embedded in my thing, but like I think it's just the sound itself that that should just need it needs, needs to, to go needs away to or get a little upgrade or you know, something. You know, well, you know. let's put the laugh to rest. <laughs> I agree with you, Ness. Yeah, no, let's let's put it to rest. Let's let's all come together and let's just stop, put it to rest. Let's stop using the laugh. Rest track. in peace, that, laugh track. That particular laugh track, please. That's just please. <laughs> it's cool when they film in front of a live audience and they they are laughing. That's I think that's I like exactly the organic thing. Mm. Yeah. But the are generic they, yeah. one, I don't know. It probably just got too like I don't know, too popular and oh, no, no, because like even it. some shows they would have the live audience and they would still have the Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That they, in just, the background, they just like the wow of the of the of them all. They oh, would yeah, overuse yeah. that too because like it's a it's just uh, it's just their air horn, you know. Wow, well, well, we would always use a laugh track because everyone was too hot in the studio <laughs> to be laughing. <laughs> Everyone's just with a oh, yeah, pie. Oh, I thought you were talking about <laughs> the, the background dancers. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, like the crowd. <laughs> I would always watch it and try and find my favorite Wawa Wee girl. I know that <laughs> your favorite <laughs> Wawa Wee girl. That one. I know that the those studio tapings go for ages. Like you'll go in there and and they'll set you up in in your, in your seats and you'll you'll be there for hours, maybe a couple of hours yeah. to before you know the, they actually go. Fun, into the fun fact: the original um, title of Wawa Wee was called Wawa Week. 
because oh, that's how that it yeah that was because that's how long they would take to record the thing. <laughs> They would one, get, one week. <laughs> one, one week. <laughs> they, would, they, would, they would get the audience to be there yeah. for like a whole week. <laughs> oh, shit. Recording back to back episodes. Oh, no. Fun, fun fact, then, huh? That doesn't sound fun at then, all. And, then, and yeah. then they realized that it's really deterring the audience away. So they took away the K. And they realized, okay, now it's, they're. It's all right. It's now. a bit more subtle. You know? <laughs> now they have to wee. Wala wee. Wala wee. Wag wag wee. Wag wag wee. Wag wag wee. Wag wee. Wag Hold it in. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, That's great. Well, uh, yeah, man. Let's do a Death of the Laugh track, bro. Yeah. Let's kill it. Yeah. Just that, kill it. Just that laugh sound, please. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Since we're going to kill this, we're going to kill this. Laugh track. Let's give it a small funeral. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <We've got some laughs> bow our heads and close it's our eyes. So hard <laughs> to say goodbye <laughs> to <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> All right, we are gathered here today oh, that was to farewell one of the most dearest and nearest sounds that we have experienced since our childhood till right, today right. but today we bury this laugh track till it's rest in peace pieces <coughs> and first to give a eulogy is mr the person who is really close to this laugh track is mr don doing stuff <laughs> you're gonna choose me first hard to say goodbye <laughs> to yesterday you're right you're right the 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 laugh this laugh track very uh close to me because i grew up with this laugh track um it taught me to laugh when i didn't know when to laugh when someone would tell a joke um but then as i grew older i realized that hey i don't need this laugh track to know when to laugh i can make decisions for myself um so i want to say thank you to the laugh track for teaching me when I was not able to know when to laugh it's at a so young age. Uh, but, um, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. To yesterday. <laughs> you just cut and his now. speech off with the whole singing. I like it. I saw that. Yeah, I got, I got like Oscar. <laughs> you got Oscar now. Oscar now, bro. Started then, playing the music. Let's have a moment of silence for dearly beloved laugh track. It's so hard <laughs> to, <laughs> to say goodbye. Silence is overrated. <laughs> 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 We're doing a podcast, damn it. We can't have silence. <laughs> <laughs> we need to fill it with sound. Uh, <laughs> we could have filled it with laugh track, but the laugh track is Dead. Oh, it's dead. My yeah. bad. Mm. We're just re- we're just uh, remembering it. So to everyone oh, out there, imagine, the imagine if it comes back and it's just like, <laughs> 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 like, like it sounds like sounds like your Tito. Good <laughs> morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm back. <laughs> yeah, if you slow down the laugh track in in a like a, in a door or like a music production program, it sounds like oh, 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 that one is funny. <laughs> that's a nice one oh, that's a good one <laughs> that is a nice one <laughs> that is a nice one so to everyone who would like to speak on behalf of the you know of the laugh track and give their last thing memories p- put it down on the comments below and let us know about your love or hate for the Filipino <sighs> laugh track if you if you want to keep the laugh track All like right. Tell us no, your no, it's dead tell, now. tell us your your opinion in the it's in the comments as well. Dead, bro. It's <laughs> yeah, dead. We had a if you wanted to come back, tell us in your opinion in the in the comments as well. Because <laughs> I wish I had a gunshot noise here so I could put some. We just killed the, no, 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 the gunshots in the air Murder. <laughs> <laughs> on Wikipedia. Mur- killed by the cheap Let's put Murder. some put some monk to us for my homies. Pour <laughs> some monk to us. Pour some monk to us for the love track. That's morbid. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, comments dun, 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 dun. on the thing like why you like it and yeah, why I disagree with you. Laugh tracks mansion, bro. Laugh tracks mansion. Laugh tracks mansion. Uh, it's uh, one sweet day as well. <laughs> uh, instead of two bucks, it's uh, two fucks. 
Because that's <laughs> two fucks I give. Because <laughs> I two fucks give. I don't give. Because I don't give two fucks. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's move on. To let's just move on. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh gosh! Um, Jesus! All right, all right, all right. I think it, us coming to know that we hate this fucking laugh track is like just part of growing up, right? Mm. And if yeah. and funny enough, like with this episode, we've gone through individually, like what we're like personality wise and stuff but i think one thing that we out we all have in common outside of this podcasting thing is royal titos and stuff we've we've grown through that era yeah. um we're in we that love era, and yeah. hate similar things mm. and i think we're at this age now where i think it's okay to talk about it um it's okay to know that uh these feelings of hating certain things is natural and that um i think people should speak more about it mainly because um for me as a person it makes me feel guilty but one thing that i know in common that we all have as titos is we have at least one or two nephew or niece that we fucking hate dude we cannot stand that we they're a child but every time we see this kid this bratty little motherfucker we're forced to not say anything but oh i know you're not my parent i'm not i mean i'm not your parent i'm not supposed to, I, I don't have to love you <laughs> yeah. if you get out of you line be, you be civil you, have to be you know civil. what i mean yeah oh mm. but i think it's like it's i think it's a common thing right we we all we've all <laughs> see i know see this is the hesitance done i know you have <laughs> one or two that and and it makes you feel bad saying that you hate the fuck out of them but deep down I think it should be okay. I don't think you I hate I mean? them. You hate them. I don't think it happened over the weekend. <laughs> you hate them. Did something happen over the weekend? Hey? No, 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 no. No, no, no. This isn't oh, about this them. Is this is about everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, th- I don't think I hate them. Like, no. for me, and, um, you know, I don't think I hate them. They're, 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 oh, I just spice it up for content. They're the you kids. Hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it them. Just, no, no, but not necessarily even, like, related to you. You know what I mean? Uh, Even yeah. friends, kids, you've oh, lost okay. friendships you, because of you've this. You've opened the parameters now. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. As a Filipino Tito, it doesn't mean blood, right? No. Filipino no. Tito, yeah. like, Tito is not a really, it's not bound, it doesn't have boundaries of blood, mm-hmm. blood relation. It could be anyone. Like, like now, like, you know, everyone who has kids that's your friends is your okay cool now, are you talking about my kid now <laughs> no 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 no. your, your kids aren't Bro, your kid old enough nothing. to be no, 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 no. your kid just sits there and they're, not, they're not old enough to be like makulet or anything yeah, yeah. but you know yeah. you, you know. know the kids yeah i yeah. get yes yeah, so we know there's, there's, there's that one kids. kid that we, that we know there's a one kid that we who's know. the kid who's not gonna be to say it out because <laughs> just say like whose kid it is it's obvious and we were just like oh would they know if they listen to this episode they know they might they might but like I was like I wish that I wish someone would like tell that kid to like Can you explain just, what does this yeah. kid do like what does he do and he, what's his you know what is, what's being his loud at, what's his age he was being loud at inappropriate times and uh-huh. just um like you know coughing and sneezing with his mouth open just like projectile coughing on everything I'm just like that's so that's he's probably being, sick though I, just, I don't know if, I don't know if that's the kid's fault <laughs> but if, if he was sick if he was sick then he Don't shouldn't have been there what are you coughing for he shouldn't have been there what are you coughing spreading diseases nah, the, I, I don't know if you remember this Don but <laughs> kids got, shouldn't be kids we've got a friend right we're still we're still mates with this person yeah back in the day he's, he's you know he's a musician now he's, he's got his younger brother yeah that he would bring with him at times and that little brother motherfucking oh. they were playing Tekken one day and then they were just button mashing and this little brother was getting the shits <laughs> bro it was like a feel good moment eh because that was the time that that dude was getting tormented getting but yeah. as a Tito that like you know because yeah, yeah, this kid is just Makulet like 24 7 the one time that he was done. like he couldn't win in a video game it felt like it felt good it felt I think good, I know what you're talking bro. about I can't think of anyone off the top of my bro. head right now but I know what you mean I mean that's we understand the feeling of like you gotta stay strong you gotta stay strong for your kid right yeah. even though when times are really tough you gotta look like things are doing alright in front of your kid yeah because like you know if you break down things the situation goes to another front mm. but that same feeling could be applied to Tito's bro 
mm. that same feeling of like you know i gotta hold back these emotions because if these emotions come out there are some consequences mm. but i'll have to like keep my emotions in check so with the titos if you hate a motherfucking kid you gotta keep hold that, that keep feeling that shit to yourself. inside. Yeah, yeah. You keep it to you yourself. Keep that, keep to, that yourself. to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no matter Don't even be passive how about good that. it feels when they get what's coming to them, yeah. mm. you gotta be. My, you gotta be like sympathetic in the way. Be like, oh, you know, oh, my. Uh, that's, so that's my. That's my. That's my nephew, man. We had, we had <laughs> can't do this to my nephew, man. <laughs> we had lunch with. We had lunch for my auntie's birthday, eighty fourth birthday, um, and like you know all the all of the grandkids and stuff were there and all of my cousin's kids and one of my cousin's kids she's really uh really diva-ish so they had a coloring book and she's coloring and my brother ken is like coloring with her she's yeah. she's really muck, like makulit but she's you don't hate her it's because she's so cute but she's coloring and ken tries to go help her and she's like no this is my coloring book no one colors it except me <laughs> and then what ken did because ken's a Ken's, you know, Ken's, Ken is Ken. He'll be like, look over there. And then he'd put a single dot on the page. <laughs> <laughs> and then and progressively, as she's not looking, he'll put another dot. And then all of a sudden, there's like, there's other coloring on the page. And he's like, so hey, good. what do you think of this? And she'd look and she's like, no. Mm. Yeah. Can we do a side note of what he said before? Well, what we think is like, he said, she's Makulit, but it's okay because she's cute. She that gets away. That could be developed. That's the into, red flag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in relationships, bro. Yeah. If we put, oh, we look. How many times have we fallen for the cute part? Yeah. yeah and ignore, but she's crazy. Ignore the <laughs> makulet part. Too many yeah. times. You know, <laughs> one too many times, bro. <laughs> makulet, you know, as you know, cuteness over makulet always has been the thing. Mm. It's just like. <laughs> It's a trade-off. It's, eh? it's a trap, bro. That's if you had it. an ugly baby, <laughs> it's Makulet. It's Makulet. <laughs> We're not forgiving nothing. Yeah. But if you're cute, you get away with everything. But it's cute, right? Oh, yeah, okay. It's cute. Like, here that's, we go. It's, as bad as it sounds, that's what we sometimes say. It's like, well, at least they're cute, so it's all right. Yeah. If they were ugly, then fuck yeah. this kid. <laughs> <laughs> we always say, it's like, well, at least they're cute. <laughs> Any other circumstance, oh, play drop kick this kid. <laughs> 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 Fuck out of here. <laughs> this kid looks like Joe Pesci. Nicolette, <laughs> <laughs> <Bro, laughs> but cute, bro. It's like Joe oh, Pesci. Yeah. <laughs> She's got the beanie and everything. It's so well, true. yeah, man. Just be careful out there, whether it be kids and or. Uh, Future prospects in relationships. Mm. Makulet of um, what you, <laughs> you know, it, watch out. It's it is a really sh it's a big shame because if it's makulet and not cute, it's like you. It's really you really. It's got hard. It, it's it makes very it hard. It makes it very baby, hard. Yeah. yeah, it's even like <laughs> if I feel bad for like you, like you sometimes see it. Not judging, but like you know, sometimes like. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. It's, it's like, Even when they're older, if they get older <laughs> and stuff, as in like, uh, like, like, eight, ugly, like in their adults, in the, the adult, adulthood, adulthood and stuff, yeah. stuff like, and they're like, they're makulets and they're, and they're not cute. I'm just like, mm, couldn't you like compensate and balance it That's out? Yeah, yeah. Like, that would, you, it would compensate it. So it's like, oh, at least, you know, I see a kid and I was like, at least, oh, they're very good. Well behaved. <laughs> got a good kid, man. It's they're good well kid. behaved. Good kid. Look, he, he puts his toys away. Oh. One on one my, parenting. So though. if your kid's cute, you don't have to parent them really good. You know, just, they got cute. They're gonna get away with it. They're gonna get away with it. That's the problem. That's the problem. It's a problem. They're gonna get away with it. It bites you in the ass as well. It really does. It's really biting. That's but if you go, like, but, but if you work on it and they become an angel and cute, bro, oh my. That's, yeah. yeah. That's the win win. That's the win win. Yep. You know, because like it's the yeah. unicorn. Yep. You know, <laughs> to be to be honest, bro. Like I don't know if it, it might be a taboo to say, but like at these ages, <laughs> the kid is a reflection of you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was <laughs> gonna get, <laughs> to get to that. Age. If, yeah. the kid, if the kid is Makulet, yeah, bro, there's a good chance. Bro, there's my, a good chance that yeah, you're Makulet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad but used to say that. that. My dad used to say yeah. that too. Like if we were being naughty when we were being mischievous as, as young kids, he would audibly say it so that we'd hear it. He's like, I guess this is my fault. 
Poor guy. Just accepted it. Like, I guess this is this my, is my fault. fault. I don't know how to raise you guys. This is my fault. And my I, genetics. And I looked at him like, over. what the heck? <laughs> hey, at least he's not blaming hey, you. Hey, he's blaming hey. himself. That's it, bro. That's guilt trip. Huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> the hugest guilt trip. Yeah, I guess good. it's my fault. You don't listen to me. Yeah, you man. don't. You know, you don't clean the house. You don't wash the dishes. I failed as a father. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> bro. My kids are assholes. <laughs> the trauma. <laughs> That's so good. So I think that the whole that whole mindset of like the kid is a representation of who you are. Mm. Some people just keep that mindset, even though the kid turns out to be forty or fifty in years time or becomes an mm. adult. That mindset sticks, bro. You know what yeah. I realized too? You gotta now? become a nurse, become a lawyer because it looks good. On me, type of. What do you realize? You know what I realize now. I'm trying to think. Like, I actually like all the kids I know, at least in my immediate circle and and friends. But I'm trying to think. Like, I was actually like, who do I actually don't like? And I realized the kids I don't like, because testament to what you said, are from parents that I don't like. (laughs) (laughs) See, it really is. Because I'm like, wait, yeah, reflection. It's like, fuck, you remind me of your fucking dad, bro. Sometimes it's, that guy. it's a, like, like, a blessing. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> and like, that's why I was like, because uh, I don't keep anyone I don't really like around me anymore. That's why I was like, I don't think I don't like any kid. It's because um, those people are gone <laughs> in my <laughs> life. I can understand. Do you know what I mean? I don't, yeah. Like, that's it, bro. Great, man. It really no, that's is. You've that's purged. Some, you know, yeah. the Asher song, You Remind Me, bro? Which that one? thing, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you remind, remind me of your dad, who <laughs> was <laughs> a douche. A douche. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. You see the same like little face, and you're like, <laughs> you're exactly like your dad, <laughs> but your shoe size two. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. It really is. <laughs> That's funny, Zach. That? Now I'm trying to think of who you're referring to. <laughs> I know. <don't, laughs> this is like, you know. I already got a list of people in my head. <laughs> <laughs> that nuts doesn't like that has kids. <laughs> to be fair, I, a, I don't like a lot of people. But I, I turned a new leaf and just started like, you know, distancing myself. So know, to be fair, I'm very positive now. And I like day, everyone around your me. Your leaf turn doesn't turn the other person's leaf. Oh, no, it so, doesn't. So, you know, you might get the same results. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, man, that's funny. Oh, Makulet, but cute. <laughs> the, it's, it's the butts. It's hey. the butts. Makulet, but cute. The opposite side of the spectrum. So I was coloring in, in with my, my cousin's other kid. And she was, she's the most wholesome kid as well. Like she's one of the eldest of the other thing. And she's like, can you help me color? And I'm like, okay, cool. Tell me which, which co- thing to color in. And she was doing all this. She's like, oh, let's do, let's color together and this and that. And um, after we finish coloring, this is a thing in coaching that I, that I usually do with kids. I'm like, um, what are you most proud of in the coloring? And she's like, us. Oh. And I was like, oh my gosh. Oh. I was like, what? I told her mom and she was like, here's a hundred dollars. She's like, I'm proud of us. We did so well. She's like, my favorite is the ducklings that we did and this and that. And I'm like, that is so awesome. Yeah, that's the complete opposite. And then and then yeah. Don's like, oh, this one's getting a bit too attached. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. I should hang out with the Makulet one. <laughs> <laughs> I need some toxic in my life. <laughs> I need some toxic. That's, a, that's some real shit, bro. It's like, it's it's like oh, she, she's using the U word pretty <laughs> loosely a bit too early. I need to go and get abused. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I need to get abused. You can't spell abuse without us. <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> said that shit with a smile on your face. <laughs> you also can't spell it without use. <laughs> Used. <laughs> That's so dark, but it's true. You can't it's spell fun. abuse without us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love you. (laughs) (laughs) Toxic relationships. (laughs) It's my baby call. Bro. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Baby call. Baby (laughs) call. Baby call. Oh, gosh. Uh, That's the new anchor, bro. (laughs) Baby call. Toxic Tito's over here. (laughs) Gosh. Does that make us toxic? I don't think it does. Uh, I think it's just normal. Let's flip the script. Yeah. <laughs> we can't love all. Are we? Macaulay and, and cute? 
to our Titos. <laughs> yeah. Titos. We can't, I can't afford which to be one, Which one of us, I'm just trying to think, which Tito would hate me? <laughs> which Tito would be like, mm, I'm not sure about that one. I'm, I'm pretty loved by everyone. <laughs> yeah, the golden child. You know? I'm not even lying. He's, yeah, I'm he's pretty the loved one who's like, I love us. I'm the golden child. I'm pretty loved by gets, everyone. Gets, gets away. Not even gets away. What's to get away? I'm, I was a good kid. Uh, There's nothing to get away with. <laughs> with me, I try to get a, I try to get out of everyone's way type of thing. I try. Yes. I'm a under the radar. Under the radar. Where, yeah. I don't think the Titas and Titos know unless they watch the podcast. That's the only time they know. They know the real you. The real me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very under. It's the all radar. out there on the internet. Easy, easily access the real breath. One click away. Unless alcohol is involved, that's the only time they could discover oh, who yeah. the real Macaulets are in this in, in this family. I mean, m- for my family. And like we we all we're all muckled it. We all try to like mess with our aunties and uncles. We're doing it today. <laughs> we're doing it today. We just, we just do it amongst each other. So yeah, I don't know. We, we probably give our aunties and uncles grief. Hundred percent. That's nice. Back back in fields, right when I was the younger one, I had a big brother there. I was the muckle it. But then when I moved to Australia, uh, I was the older the brother and yeah. had a little sister. Makulet That's when I had to stop that shit. You know, yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't get away with it. Oh yeah, you know you're mean? still you're still makulit now, bro. From time to time, just mm. But you're cute, so you get away Sometimes, with it. Sometimes, then you get away. Bro, with it. I was a cute kid, man. That's why I got away with it when I was a kid. My Lola, bro, unconditional love. That one. Aww. I love uh. us, Lola. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of us, Lola. Um, and I was playing with your emotions, bro. Oh man! Look at look at me as a kid, man. I get away with anything. <laughs> yeah. Chubby ass cheeks. Yeah, bro. That's it. Yeah, you're a cute kid. He's mm. got the. Oh, you've seen him. I was stealing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it looks he's like. Got the, <laughs> he's got the shop out cheeks, bro. Just, just yeah, dude. I was a little chubby motherfucker. Smuggling it's shop out in there. I was like three years old, oh. stealing crypto. Bro. Got away with anything. <laughs> I was on the internet. <laughs> At, uh, at three years old in the eighties. <laughs> oh man, now we are. It's dangerous. Ah, toxic Tito's assemble. <laughs> toxic Tito's. <laughs> hey man, like what else? Like, but what else do Tito's and Tito's talk about besides their kids? You know, it's eventually oh, gonna become toxic. Just, you know? just chismis. Mm. The chismis is always running. toxic. You know, it's the bratty ones, man. It's it's the bratty ones, I think. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Is it true that the bratty kids turn out to be the opposite, or do they continue can. to be bratty? It can. It's an adverse effect. I've seen like I know some of my cousins that were bad, considered bad kids from what my aunties and uncles said. They're like completely, you know, one eighty. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just, I when, guess because they were so bad back then. I know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're they like, what? I they my give shit. they give the bad kids more pressure. I mean, the good kids more well, pressure. Well, that's to what it is, right? Because all you got to do is be good. <laughs> but also, yeah, it's an adverse effect. If the like once again, <coughs> on a like slightly serious note, but if the makulet and cute, and you do keep letting the kid get away, you are kind of developing, you know, yeah. bad behavior in the future. Yeah, but did, I guess it's my fault. I yeah, guess, I guess that it, was you. You know, <laughs> I guess in life, bro, that was you. Everyone loves a turnaround story. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like no one loves the guy who starts off as a good kid. Oh, that's lives me, a good though. life. <laughs> And turns the out to be good. Bad as well. Keep flexing, bro. Keep flexing. That's super. Like, I was a good kid. Everybody loved me. You know. It's so vanilla. That's so vanilla, bro. Yeah. They want a story where they they were like hell devils, considered to be the devil kid. They thought they were possessed. And then when they grow up, they turn out to be. They turn their life around, bro. Those line, that line people itself, like, bro. People um, like antiheroes. That's super. They, they they love people who, who have been in through the dirt. Anti who? And then. Succeeded, bro. Skid up, up, up. That's the story of life, bro. So <laughs> my cousin was one of them. Mm. She Turn was, on. she was the one that my titos and titas would have been talking shit about, like, like what we're doing now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like there was um, times when my tito would be driving us, and she would be crying unless she was sitting on his lap, kind of like you know when you sit in the lap. Yeah. Uh, your kids in, are on your lap and stuff, right? He's fucking driving. Oh, I still so you can't, you know what I mean? Mm. And then he gets to the point where. All right, he'll give in, and he we're we're driving in Philippines where it's fucking dangerous already. Oh, that's scary. And then you've got a child on your lap. It's mm-hmm. like, ah, uh, just just to appease this bratty motherfucker. Yeah. But now she's grown up, bro. She's one of those straight edge, like you know, got things like done things the right way, 
you know, did studies, married, right, and all that stuff. And yeah. Raising two beautiful kids the, the proper way too. Mm. I was like, bro, how did you, what did they feed you, bro? Are you the, the same kid? Like, are you the same person? Yeah. Mm. And then you're yeah. like, to decide the one that's been good all this time from kid to now. She's like, in jail ah, fuck, now. No, hey, fuck off, fuck <laughs> off. I want to talk to this one. Yeah. You turn your yeah. life around. Yeah. You didn't turn your life around, but you were just boring all, all, all life. We need, we need something <laughs> interesting to talk about. Yeah. That's how toxic things are. <laughs> no one wants to hear a story where you're good at the start. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. the prodigal son story we were after. No, man. The the prodigal prodigal stories, bro. Come back to the good side, man. Talk to, <laughs> talk to us. Tell us the dumb shit you got up to. Bro, if Spanian never went to jail, bro, yeah. no one's going to no like, care, bro. No one's yeah. going to care, bro. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Criminals are popping off on YouTube right now. That's it, bro, because they're turning their life around. Mm-hmm. There's also that comedian Andrew Hamilton who went to jail for like drug charges and now he's a uh, like he's touring around. They're Australia. all motivational speakers if you don't know that. Yeah, that's some good. real shit. Like no, that I'm not telling everyone to start off that <laughs> and then turn their life around. I I think with comedy, but a lot of it is um, life experience. So for them to go through something they crazy did, like yeah. that, you've got a lot of things to talk about. You know, right? th- there is levels though. Sorry, I'm just like overly thinking about this now. Because there's, cool, there's yes. Colette, right, where it's like hyperactive. So I was hard to manage because I would be hyperactive, running all the time, exhausting mm. almost to be around. But I was inherently a good kid at heart. But there are actually like bad kids that are like really like really bad. Like yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll want to hit other kids. They want to cause pain. That's the one that and I'm talking about. And then, okay, so you got... Not okay. the ones that are just hyperactive. But then just there's another kids. level mm. of there's yeah. the ones kids that you know mm. are gonna be like a proper serial killer bro mm. like you know there's like <laughs> like proper kids where they're like it's like let go of the fucking like, dog no, yes, and then like, they're, they're hurting they, animals yeah they say to the parents no like yeah it's like they're fucking right but not bro. even that even scary that's the ones just like dude you gotta, you gotta do something about this you got some child school dude. shooter in progress yeah type man thing. Mm. The undercovers they're like they're like nice and then that's then, the muckle that i'm be, talking about that's like that's like murder not just a kid it. that wants to be a kid that's yeah, just, yeah yeah you know, i'd be an asshole in that situation if i'm yeah. hating on a kid being what they are but yeah when they're doing that shit when they're talking back to a parent you know when mm. when a when a child talks to a parent right and they say something like no but yeah. deep down they said that shit because they don't know the words fuck you but mentally that's what they're telling their parent yeah. That's the one that I'm like, that, you, you know, gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna kick that motherfucker if he gets close to me. And you know, another you know thing though, kinda? there's like the there's also the level of, is this a product of nature or nurture? Is I think it's too, nurture, bro. There's there's always that as well, but then there's always like another level where this is just fucking satan spawn you can't do anything you, about you it can't anymore. do you can like <laughs> baptize this child you how, can do how what, many times everything. how many times have you seen, well we've seen we've seen like serial killer stories no, you, where the, the start where they got the fucked up childhood but there's also childhoods where the parents perfect. don't know what to do no no, no like, like they, even they, look yeah. per, like perfect lifestyle yeah. they were fine they were just quiet or something and then they're fucking like dressing up in girls clothes and stabby stabby the, the mum's like clothes? Like BTK killer, yeah. Maybe, fucking. but that's the thing though. Maybe like an unhealthy relationship maybe. between the mother and the, the dude. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, the, like, but, but in the facade, like like life is like, it's perfect type of thing. Like, oh yeah. The, the, because like you hear stories where the parents are just fucked up, right? Mm. That's why the yeah. kid's fucked up. But there's, but there's other ones where, where there's like, like, that's what I mean about the nature Parents doing part. everything right, mm. but there's the a kid, nature gene. Mm. I'm very convinced that there's like something in the gene pool that can get bro, passed on. I've seen so many something. crazy kids, bro. I was at a, like, a, like a hotel and stuff and then there was kids there and they were dropping glass bottles from the balcony. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones chucking in... Chucking it on the fucking road. I'm like... No, there was, there was a story about this. These kids were chucking bricks off a, a bridge on, on a highway and oh, one, one went, some, it went through a window yeah. and literally the, the, the wife of this guy the head exploded she was dead yeah. and then they're in court and they're like there's no you can tell there's no remorse they're just yeah, there yeah. to be like they want to get it it's like we were just kids and like you can tell they don't care mm. it's fucked yeah, that's no, like no. when there's almost no conscience so yeah. that's that's probably i don't know someone I didn't kick that kid not enough when they were young you know what yeah. i mean they let them get away with shit. <laughs> yeah yeah Th- this is the thing i i i think that when all babies are born None of them have a bad heart. You know what I mean? I, that, like bad intentions. There might be. There's some. Uh, but this is that's a, the nature but, part. But that's the You've nuturing part that, that nurturing can nurturing overcome can help that. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah. But uh, I say there's um, a lot of people that might naturally be uh, aggressive, 
know, that kind of thing. Fancy but social behavior. But like recently, like the last few years, talking to a cousin that works as a nurse at prisons, he's told me about this industry of prison guards. Yeah. That the riot guys, uh -huh. those guys are built for fucking fighting and aggression and shit. They just happen to find the right job for them. So they're thriving. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, that's what they like, say about uh, police officers. Not to say all police officers are bad, but like the, the uh, sociology of it is very similar to like what criminals are. It's just like they happen to be on this side of the law because mm. of the, the way, yeah, you know, the same sort of. You, s you just need to find the right job for that yeah, kid. You just need bro. to find the right job. Like a hitman. <laughs> you know I mean? a hitman. Or you could be a soldier. That dude that threw a brick off, he could have been an Olympian. Fucking. Could have been a bricklayer. Shot put could have been a bricklayer. Yeah, well, yeah maybe shot put. Bricklayer. It's terrible. You like bricks? No, he's, throwing, he's doing the opposite. He's throwing it on the other side of the of the building, not on the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be demolishing buildings. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing, bro. Like, I do understand that the aspect of like things you know are what? just natural. They should have hugged Hitler more. Mm. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> The other night, right, I was in the when toilet. When he was a kid, I mean. Where I, I was, I was chucking a shit, and I was having these weird philosophical shit about, you know, do do you like do you judge a person based on their intent or the results of their actions or whatever? Mm. And I was, I was asking my girl this, like, if you go back in time and stuff, the whole Hitler thing, like, would you take out Hitler as a baby to save the six million oh, people that yeah. killed? Like, would you do it? Because then, in the end, you become the the a fucking baby killer. You know what I mean? And yeah. you're really like eliminating the, uh, what do you call it? It's like um, the possibility of him becoming evil. Mm. But really, you just killed a fucking baby. There was you know a, what I'm saying? Like, for the, the greater good. There was a. Uh, intent wise, it's there. But the result is you yeah. just killed you're a baby. You're a baby child. killer now. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's actually side sidestep on this one. Uh, a Marvel comic of Ghost Rider. When Ghost Rider. He was the one with like he's a skull and he's on fire and whatever. He became one of the heralds of Galactus, so he became a galactic. He has like galaxy powers of whatever, whatever, right? And he started serving Thanos at one point in time. Mm. He decided to go backwards in time to try to kill the baby Thanos, but instead raised it as a as his own kid. Or oh, to be good. <laughs> to be good. Yeah, I was thinking that that's another option. You don't and have then, to kill it, right? Yeah. And you just take it home and raise it in the Filipino <laughs> house. Or that's shit. called kidnapping. <laughs> 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 it's not bad. <laughs> it's like we're just not baby kidnapped. killers. We're just like we just kidnap them, like raise them differently. Kidnappers. <laughs> <laughs> we just kidnap them. This is the of the kidnappers. What's the lesser? <laughs> What's the lesser of two evils, right? <laughs> kill the kid or kidnap them? No, no, no. How about you just take the kid and just drop it to another house? Still kidnapping, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, kidnapping. <laughs> Still kidnapping. That's that's crazy, right? Because I asked my girl this ago, how do you judge that person? And she goes, well, are they going to be judged back in that time or in the future, like now? And I was just like, oh, what the like yeah, that really true. changes a lot. Because you know in the I mean? moment, in the moment, they're they're a baby killer. Yeah, yeah. But now, in the future, you could be a hero. You don't know. Yeah, you're like, oh, that saved hero you know, like billions Schindler. of people. Mm. It's crazy to think about, right? It's insane. Just judging people. And uh, just the fact that we hate. There's some kids we hate. <laughs> but they might be some really kids good deserve to be hated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Hitler. Maybe Hitler was an <laughs> asshole, apparently. Maybe he was an asshole with one testicle. And a thing for blondes. <laughs> and a bad haircut. Be more like my cousin's kid. Be proud of us. <laughs> proud of us. Yeah, man. Just <laughs> fucking love these cunts, bro. Yeah. Give them hope. <laughs> Show them love, man. We don't need any more Hitlers. <laughs> <laughs> well, there hasn't really been. Any, well, I, 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 I'm not gonna comment anymore. I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop. stop. I'm not that aware of it. That, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to stick my foot in it anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> so the moral oh, of the story is: take out Hitler as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, bro. It's totally up to you, bro. It's your <laughs> life, bro. Let's get it. You want to <laughs> kill him? Just punch him in the head. <laughs> So like just, what? Just, just to teach him a just lesson disable there. him so he's like well I, I can't really plan no. massacres if I, I no. can't think maybe <laughs> maybe maybe go, maybe go back in time and like, be like help him with Hitler his in the in multiverse no 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 just like, go oh, back in time forest yeah. filter go go back in time and help Hitler. him with his art projects like so he'll, he'd be more of an artist than oh. yeah he did art though he did a lot yeah. of painting he's got a painting of just himself a having more. a bat from the back <laughs> That's legit one of his paintings. Um, what if, what if Hitler was cute? 
<laughs> oh, but you know what? It wasn't. What happened there? That's that's the reason why, bro. Oh yeah, he, that's he pure was, villain. He art. was muckalit, but not cute. And yeah. the parents were like, because oh, if he was muckalit cute. and cute, the different lifestyle he would have so lived, different. bro. <laughs> no. That would have been so different. The lifestyle <laughs> he would have lived if he was cute, because he was coolette, man. He was coolette from the start. <laughs> for sure. For, for sure. sure. Tell us, tell so us like, in the comments what your opinion is. Would you go back in time? And what would you do? He was the cutest baby with a little mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he was the ultimate muckalit but cute. <laughs> this motherfucker getting away with everything. everything bro. <laughs> yeah. He's so angry about everything. Maybe he was back then's definition of cute, bro. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. He, he, he was a dictator and everyone was following that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was getting away with a lot of shit, bro. It's like, it's man, that, like maybe he is pretty cute. <laughs> well, that's Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Chaplin kind of looks like him, so maybe that was the style hey, back then. So maybe it was in. Yeah, so, so it's like, oh damn, he looks bro. pretty hot. Maybe He's the cute. modern day, the modern day dictator should look like Chris Hemsworth, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Get away with it, bro. You know, hundred percent. This is a baby yeah, Ryan Kim wrestling. Why are we giving dictatorship Kim Jong Il is <laughs> Kim Jong Il is doing it wrong. John Woo and the dad, the, the, yeah, the one that's Kim kicking Jong-un. around. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he should be. He should look yeah. like um, one of the Kim Jongs. Should like look like, like Majin Buu. Majin Buu. He's cute. Oh, Kim Jong Un was a Korean, uh, a cute baby. I'm assuming because yeah. little Korean babies Asian always baby. cute, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is bro. why he's getting away with a lot of yeah, shit. No, bro, he bro. was born into that life. For sure. Like for mm. sure, he's like oh. that's how that's how that's how they baby. named him. Like Kim Jong Un. Is that so giggle? Giggles. Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Look at his cheeks. Kim Jong Un. Yes, take the south. <laughs> oh my god. Take, the, just, south. take the south. Take the south. You're soft. You're cute. Oh my god. You're the man. Nuclear so weapons. <laughs> Supreme leader. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme leader. Mm. Oh my oh, goodness gosh. gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Where have we gone to? <laughs> hey man, that's why they get away with shit, bro. They're makulet, but cute. <laughs> Smack your babies. <laughs> <laughs> you just took it straight to it. <laughs> In conclusion, how many conclusions are there? <laughs> Smack your babies. Amen. That's with the hot takes, bro. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. <laughs> Smack your babies. Amen. So make sure you just raise them right, bro. Yeah. Like makulet, the law is be makulet. Unless, and early detection, yeah. man. If you like, this is a fucking dictator, bro. <laughs> Do something, man. God. We don't need pay attention to your kids, right? You really got to pay attention. You know, to red kids. flag is if someone from the future comes back and tries to take your baby. Take him out. That means <laughs> this is this is some next level Makulet yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, this is an end of days <laughs> Makulet. Someone from the future. <laughs> <laughs> if you walk into your room. Are you Sarah Connor? And Sarah someone Connor. is dressing like the, from the future. And they want to talk to your baby. If Arnold Schwarzenegger comes back, yeah, yeah, tries to take your baby out, bro, bro, that's a problem, bro. <laughs> that's a problem, bro. It's a problem, bro. <laughs> that means you got a leader of the revolution yeah, in yeah, your yeah. palm right now, and that means bro. your kid is the reason the world. That ends. means you need to, you know, get a lot of weapons and bulk yourself up for the for the fucking robot <laughs> shit. You, you, you need to, yeah, yeah, you start ho- hoarding. Weapons and all that stuff, right? Yeah, you gotta somehow four drive, by four drive vehicles. to Mexico. Yeah, yeah. You need I to. Reckon uh, we could bunk many it down times here. they fucked up that story up, yeah. Terminator story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to even go there, but like, <laughs> fuck it, hell, bro. <laughs> Talk just, about. Just, we should go back to the. We should kill the baby who tried to friggin' reboot that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Just keep it at two, bro. Yeah, keep it, keep it at two. That was all we needed. <laughs> that was all we needed. That's all we needed, That's bro. All we needed. Liquid Terminator. Was Liquid Terminator, bro. Bro. <laughs> you know, dun, dun, bro. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, yeah. I don't know the music, but it's like that disco <laughs> shit. How is running. that Terminator? <laughs> 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 it has got the golf arms. If you got that shit chasing you, your kid is bad, bro. Your kid is bad. If they said Liquid Terminator. No, 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 no. He's, he's the opposite, bro. His oh, kid it? is good. The kid's good. My bad. The my Terminator bad. is bad in that movie. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I got a mix up. Is this the same movie we were watching? That. <laughs> my bad. My he was bad. rooting for fucking Liquid Terminator. He was rooting for Liquid Terminator. <laughs> Go cops. <laughs> he was a police. Go oh, cops. My favorite. <laughs> he was the good guy. My favorite yeah. thing is like he's singing, do the hustle while he's running. 
That's why he's like, oh, this guy's a good guy for sure. No, he's he's, got, he's got, got meat pie trays on his chest, <laughs> bro. He must be good. <laughs> Dunk. He's got foil pa- uh, plates on his tray. He's his a chest. cop. He must be good, man. <laughs> he must be good. <laughs> that kid's bad, bro. That kid's a menace. <laughs> he was hacking into ATM machines. <laughs> I'm siding with this policeman. <laughs> <laughs> Not this foreigner speaking guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, if you're going to get a robot, why would you give him a proper accent, bro? <laughs> oh, He's the bad guy. <laughs> Europeans are bad. <laughs> American, <Bro>. good. <laughs> At the time, that's what they were pushing, yeah. right? Yeah, Die exactly. hard. Yeah. They I still mean, do Europeans that now, bro. Even Russians, like in Europeans Mission Impossible, always they're always British or European. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it sounds there was a, more badass. There was a why. time. There was a time when movies had like Korean uh, pro- uh, antagonists because the North Korean. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. That wasn't long ago, too. Huh? Yeah. Like the last ten years. Yeah. Oh, wasn't there a movie? I don't know. Like I don't know if it's real, but like they had a movie where they're hijacking. It's like White White House down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that it was, was one Asians, of them. Eh? Yeah, yep. was and it wasn't Filipino, right? The day after tomorrow. Filipinos are never bad guys. Koreans, yeah. man, if you Korean, notice, Philippines yeah. is never a bad guy in any show. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're watching a Filipino show. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> there are Filipino villains yeah. in there. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a Filipino villain now. Yeah, me too. There's none, right? No, the no, Versace really. documentary. Isn't that the what? dude that killed him is Filipino, right? No. Oh. There we no, go. Okay, well, there you go. Go on, go on. Philippines. 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 He's a full bad guy. I love that. Big ups to you. I love that meme. number one. Let's go. I love that meme. He's just looking at a map and he just says Philippines. You know when we were the bad guy? When it was Philippines for Australian basketball. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, flying kicks. Philippines. Oh, bro, they're taking selfies after that the fight, bro. <laughs> oh, my. Anyway, God. I shouldn't have brought that up. Uh, Philippines. That's a sore Australia. spot, man. <laughs> Is it? Hey, man, that, 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 we were a bit torn because we're from Australia, too. That, that's us and internally, Richard. bro. We were, we were very torn. We didn't know who was the bad guy in that one. Yeah, that was identity <laughs> crisis. <laughs> Not for me, bro. Those you, dudes were assholes, man. <laughs> My man. On both sides. No, the the Filipino <laughs> players. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I thought you were gonna go with Australia. <laughs> huh? No, the, no, those dudes. I, I've seen fights at Kevin Betts, yeah. our local thing. Oh yeah, yeah. You oh. know what I mean? There's some, there's yeah, some yeah, Filipino yeah. dudes. The ego kind of just gets too, too much. Picon, too yeah, quick, bro. Pick on real quick, man. Have you seen? Fillers get pick on have you seen quick. street get, basketball get, in Philippines? Really? No. Elbows. I, our parents will talk about dirty basketball. Wow. See, like it's a thing. I was I was taught that from my dad, mm. and so when I was started, when I was playing basketball, I would do the thrashing elbows and stuff yeah, like that. Boy. And people would people would be like, "Bro, what are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm just playing." No blood, no foul. I, I was told by different. my dad, Let's "Take it to mm. the streets." I know, bro. But like buy on street boys, bro. <laughs> We're back to the streets. Really buying street boys. Bringing it back, back full circle. circle. Yeah, oh, now, how many man. times have your Tito or your dad said that, that you know, after this injury, I stopped playing basketball? <laughs> it's always a knee injury as well. It's on the right <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> yeah, always. That's true. It's got a brace. Uh, I haven't yeah. gotten to that point yet. Mm. <laughs> it's like after this injury, I'll stop doing martial arts. Oh, bro, you'll 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 turn you'll turn into that in about a couple of years. I'll probably I'll give you even more about seven years. Seven years. Seven years. I'll give you seven years. Bro. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. And then after that, you'll be oh, telling to your kids like, "Oh man, I used to be a gun, bro. They used to call me Don Chuck Norris and shit <laughs> until I injured myself." And the kids are gonna be like, "Who's Chuck Norris?" <laughs> bro, no, no, yeah. Chuck, Chuck Norris is for life, bro. Everyone. Chuck Norris that. can't die. I can't think die, it's bro. written on his birth certificate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Death always comes up to me like, oh, I'll be back later. Don't worry about it. He's got a death certificate and then the bottom it says psych. <laughs> 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 Jokes. <laughs> then you hear a laugh track in the back. <laughs> <laughs> a laugh track. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm still thinking Filipino villains. I, I don't think they're... Like if there was a villain, it's the think laugh, of a villain. It's the laugh track, and let's turn the them into. Track, yeah. Let's turn them into a Filipino <laughs> and see if the story becomes if they become more of a villain or less of a villain type of thing. The iceberg in Titanic. 
Oh, that's a Filipino iceberg for sure. Why? Why? I'm, I'm just thinking oh. of how many that they fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Filipino iceberg. It's a hollow, hollow. It is a top of the boat. Just goes through. It's, it's like, a. It's a. What a shit! And it's, <laughs> it's covered in Uber. Yeah. It's covered in Uber. The ship is so he's sticky, like, bro. He's like, he's like, he's like you didn't mix it. You didn't mix it. It's so sweet. <laughs> and just go through it. <laughs> and then Titanic ends because they make it to the yeah, destination. Yeah. Just go yeah. home. Burr. Before the cap- before the the ship goes down, the captain goes, "Is that jackfruit?" <laughs> <laughs> burr, it, it, imagine that, burr. Imagine the Titanic being a jackfruit that's just floating on top of the hollow hollow. Oh, and then it hits the ice, burr. You know, like imagine the world was a hollow hollow, burr. <laughs> and it jo- it's the <laughs> last ingredient. It's the last ingredient, go, burr. He's gone. You know, like the the those Filipino people, like it. you know. It shows how small the world is. You yeah. Know what I mean? Did you watch like, Men in Black recently? Yeah, it's the large alien god. <laughs> All we needed to do was to mix it, and we could have saved a billion people if we hollow hollowed this properly. Oh. You didn't hollow enough. No, the Titanic was a jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It was so. It was so focused as well. If you're watching that on YouTube, watch oh, rap. Don't talk about it. It's like, and the jackfruit is inside. It hits the iceberg, bro. We, could, you know. Time would would have changed from yeah. then. Hey, are you a hundred years later? These billionaires are gonna let's go see this jackfruit for ourselves. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, uh, no! Another submersible. Oh, there's another jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> there's another jackfruit. There's a smaller of, jackfruit. All kinds of fruits in here. <laughs> this is an underwater jackfruit though. <laughs> I've never been to. But the it doesn't island. have the structure. Never been to the bottom level. <laughs> this one's got Palomar. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a billionaire full of money. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I, never, I don't think anyone has um, passed the uh, Ube ice cream before. <laughs> what happens after that? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it's, carbon, fiber, it's carbon fiber straw. It can't hold the Ube. It's too thick. It's a spoon. <laughs> the pressure's too strong. <laughs> oh, man. Carbon fiber straw. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's hard out. Oh, well, yeah. This straw is lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh There's got to be a Filipino villain in the future, bro. I can't think I of I reckon that'll be the best representation. If any, you know, people are like, oh, man, we need good representation as a, as a, in movies and stuff. Let's start off with how the Europeans start off as villains, bro. And then eventually we become James Bond, you know? You know what, though? <clears throat> I think when Europeans, particularly maybe Russians, Italians, or even Koreans that become villains, I think because they they can sound badass, like the accent makes it. (laughs) But Filipinos, (laughs) oi, andito na ako. Like, you know, like, (laughs) what? Like, it's like, it's not villainy. It's not intimidating. Yeah, it's not intimidating. Yeah. We're too like, no, it's like, hey, that's, that's, it's that, that's the edge though. What do you, you mean? You think they're not intimidating because of how they sound. Uh, but then they yeah. fuck you up in who? With uh You know who trauma. is Exhibit A? I am Exhibit A. I get fucked up in who. It's, your, it's, your, <laughs> it's like your parents <laughs> are crazy, bro. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this guy's losing his shit. How long have we been recording? It's two hours <laughs> almost. <laughs> Let's pack up. I think, I <laughs> think I the, go. the Filipino villain, bruh. I think Raph's becoming the... mentally <laughs> fuck them up, Raph's like, podcast long enough and you, you know? become the Filipino villain. I think, oh my God. I think we don't go the whole, like, terrorist route or the the rich billionaire there are Filipino route. terrorists. I think yeah, we go... Warfare. I think we go the Hannibal Lecter route, bro. Oh. oh. Let's fuck it up in the mind. That's true. Like a scary Filipino, bro. Does he get to wear a mask like Hannibal? Is he? Yeah, man. I think that's cool the first the better, bro. way like, you fucked up. Just naming him Hannibal is already going to fuck him up. Let's mm. call him Jim. He's going to turn out all right. That's it, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know my baby Hannibal? He's bound to do some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Adolf. Come Adolf on, bro. Can't, can't know I, know, I know Hannibal and I know an Adolf. What? Really? Yeah. Wait, wait. Like, you know them? Yeah. Like, as a person? Why? Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. And I know an like adult. Someone I know, didn't I know like an adult, child. But they like, some crazy they're fine. Something. They're fine, people. They're fine. 
Adolf. Isn't that illegal? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He's like, Filipino too, the Adolf I know. <laughs> Filipino. This is the biggest villain we know. I'm going to <laughs> There we go. Adolf hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Adolf hit him. And if it's Adolf a girl, hit Adolf hit her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't yeah, them. So they, st- you know, they stay in check in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. You just slipped. Up. <laughs> they just stay in check. <laughs> That's our boy band name, bro. Yeah. Instead of in sync, it's uh, in check. Keep in check. Keep in check. And then <laughs> check, 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 check. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Over. Oh, <sighs> Yeah, it has been. Skidibop we have been bop recording bop. for a while, haven't we? Yeah, we, yeah, we. <laughs> bop bop bop. All right. So, have we found a villain? No. Oh, that's oh. that's that's stage name, is it? <laughs> You'd hope so. <laughs> I was oh. about, I was more about the Adolf. Like Hannibal's been like, is, wasn't he like a conqueror one day as well? Like my mind doesn't go straight to bloody. <laughs> the parents will be like Hannibal ka. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the laugh track? Bahanabal sabuhay mo. Bahanibal sabuhay. Bahanibal sa ulum. Sabuhay. Bahanibal sabuhay mo. Oh man. Cool. Cool. Is it like kill. I heard? This is a random thought because like, I keep th- I keep seeing this in in TikToks and reels and shit. <laughs> What is what it? Is it? Uh, no, you found an Adolf? <laughs> no, no. There's already like songs in there for um, Chico to stash in the chat. <laughs> and you go, well. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like, fucking end it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You pulled my I was, arm. I thought I was the first one. There's already another one. I pulled my arm. You pulled my arm. <laughs> just keeps like, yeah, All right. I was, I was, I was bringing some content. I wonder. If there's a Filipino, yeah, all right. Filipino. Okay, all right. I, no, I no, can no, read no. the room. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll get for another like five minutes. Nah, sorry. Nah, 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 all right, this is for this is the part of the show we call the cheat code stash where these three want to showcase their music. You know what I mean? They don't want to appreciate the art of podcasting. Oh, now there's, now there's you know guilt, I mean? bro. There's no guilt. This that, is some truthful that's... shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't guilting nobody, bro. I am on this hill and I am going to die on it alone. Yo, I took one for the team by saying it. <laughs> you, know? you guys were thinking it. It's a collective end, all right? Thanks for coming back from England. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no problem. You're welcome. Oh, so we are playing the cheat code stash where you nominate a song from last week this week or something in the future i am going to shorten this intro because no one wants me to talk because these motherfuckers want to end the podcast you're a toxic dito bro this is this is this is time bro you know this is what happens bro this is what happens bro you don't appreciate shit bro I'm short of everything, bro. Oh. It's gonna be the intro. Your segments are gonna get cut off, bro. You know, I, I'm editing this shit too, so I'm gonna edit, make it me look good, bro. That's you're a toxic tito. <laughs> These guys, bro. All right. Oh my head. Oh my head hurts. Oh, I'm laughing so hard. Oh, Way to make us feel guilty. No oh, man, no guilt, bro. <laughs> if if, if you feel about guilt, this. that's on you, bro. It's, it's on this, you. Dude, this guy, bro. This oh my guy, God. bro. Alright, don't do stuff. What song do you want to play on the Chico oh stash? For, for context, I sent this song because my phone's about to die, so I sent it earlier. Bro, you sent it like an hour ago. Yeah, I sent it earlier because my phone's about to die. Uh, anyway, bro, uh, you're a collective, bro. You, it's you three against me, bro. Yeah. Half an hour ago, exactly, he sent the song. Yeah, man. That's so what he did. wanted to end it. Yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, this is by a local artist named Rissa. This is. <laughs> I've forgotten what I said to read. This is Evil in Your Eyes by Rissa, <clears throat> R&B and soul artist from Sydney. Hey.
All right, Nats, what song you want to play on the Super Nintendo Stash? You're yeah. shorting everything yeah. else. I'm still I'm shorting your songs, I'm bro. I'm still, still looking. <laughs> you ain't even getting a verse. <laughs> for shorting shit now. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Then, you know how petty I get, bro. <laughs> this is the definition of don't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> you know how petty I get, bro. I don't have a song. Gussie, if you song. <laughs> I don't deserve okay. a song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water and uh, think about my actions. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Think of <about> my actions. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh man! Oh, God. <sighs> Don't play with my pettiness, bro. Don't play with me. I ain't playing, bro. Oh man, I need a change, bro. Sorry, guys. <laughs> If I don't change, man, I'm gonna lose you guys, bro. <laughs> he did that. He did that. I guess it's my fault. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I need to change, man. Uh, I'm sorry. He needs to change now. Yeah. He did a 180. I'm so bad, bro. I didn't challenge my pettiness. <laughs> oh, I need to change, man. <laughs> my stomach hurts, man. I'm oh, sorry, god. Rose. <laughs> You know, sometimes, you know, like content of everything turns into, into you know, too much. <laughs> my bad. It's heavy, right? It's heavy, yeah. Oh, oh my man. God. Like, uh, my pettiness oh. shouldn't be above uh, above the group. That's hilarious. We are one. That's hilarious. We are on the same journey. <laughs> and this is Evil in Your Eyes by Rissa. <laughs> That's a really good. That's a really good pick, though. <laughs> this guy's the epitome of petty, bro. This guy's so. <laughs> uh, oh, <man. laughs> oh, oh man, this is really dope, actually. Like. No petty pettiness aside, this is all this is dumb. Oh, yes. But yeah, this is like gospel, almost like EDM and like R and B and soul. Is she Filipino? You reckon she Filipino? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. No, I don't. I'm she not sure. Be. She she's Filipino. Is she Filipino? No, nah. I'm not sure. Hey. <clears throat> and this that was "Evil in Your Eyes" by Rissa. Yeah, hey. Local nice. Sydney artist. Very nice song, man. Very yeah. dope song. So Garcia, what song do you want to play? From the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is like the third straight week of playing songs from this one artist. Hey, hey Abby, this one's called La Moba Girl. Hey, you mentioned this last week too. Mm. It's got like a, after the intro, you'll, you'll hear, it's got a Mac Miller kind of vibe to it. Mm. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. They don't know. Oh shit, yeah. Even his voice kind of sounds Mac Miller-ish. Mm. Yeah. Similar tone. It's a really vibey track. Just Is this guy like fairly new or is he more like uh, been doing know. it for a while type of thing? I have no idea. I only come mm. across his music like mm. three weeks ago. Mm. Yeah. If anyone knows, let us know because this guy's pretty mm. dope. If this what, guy's like one of, the, one of the up and comers or are they like, that's the thing with like Philippine artists nowadays. I'm so new that I can't really. You don't know if they're new. Or I don't like know if they're like, yeah. like, because that adds to the, to the thing like. Yeah. yeah, someone has been doing it for a while, and someone has been like with potential. It's crazy. What I like is like it almost sounds effortless when he's just, just he's, when he's rapping and he's yeah. writing it. He's like, just writing. It's like yeah. 
Hey, there, Bobby. There's this one line in the song, right? Where he's talking about his girl. Mm. It's like he's he's going to see his girl. And he's, he refers to her sing it. And he says, I've got the Paloman. I was like, ooh. <laughs> you love that shit, yeah. don't you? Yeah, you, love that. you like those movies. I love that metaphor. Yeah, metaphors, <laughs> yeah, you love yeah. metaphors in Tagalog. Bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sounds sexier. Paloman. Hey. But like, yeah, he's like, <laughs> when it comes, I think Filipino rap, I don't know, like it. Now, because when it was when I was growing up with it, it was very like aggressive type of thing. Yeah, like it's also really hard to like understand if it's coming at you really really fast. Yeah, but now 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 all these artists are coming up with very laid back, melodic type of rap going on. I know it's very influenced by the the American sound that's going on now, but hey man, it really suits, bro. Lyrics wise, I think people just gotten a lot more what do you call it, like savvy. Mm. You know, with like metaphor and wordplay and stuff. Back then, it was just very kind of like the right. '80s rap, mm. right? It was like it I'm going the- to the hat store and but, I buy but, myself. A hat. But with the Tagalog, it's just more <laughs> syllable, so it sounds yeah. very like oh, okay. This sounds dope. It is nice though when it's slowed down. Yeah, yeah. Get every word. All right, that's blazing. I should have a song, man. You sure? Yeah, yeah. It's cool. What are you watching? What are you watching lately? I've been watching bloody um Turning Red on Disney. Yeah, play that song. Turning Red. No, it's like. What do you mean you've been watching it? It's it's like a movie. It's a movie. I've been watching it again and again. The the girls love it. He was singing this song before we started. Alright, let's let's play that song then. I was actually. Yeah, you were. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll just I'll just send it to you. And I know. know, Do you know the song? Yeah, I know it. You know, Billie Eilish apparently wrote it. Her brother did. I don't like this song. It's just. Yeah, <laughs> he's correcting his facts. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you know, Billy Eilish wrote that. No, 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 no the brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> he midway corrects. You know, Don does. <laughs> if you listen to the podcast like religiously, Don you order. notice Don doing that shit all the time. <laughs> Sometimes he corrects me a lot. <laughs> Done is uh, like the autocorrect, but it's just not your spelling or grammar. <laughs> it's your facts. <laughs> autocorrecting. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, no. I did do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll change, guys. I'll change. Yeah, I'll change. We, we, we I'll all change. have some stuff inside us yeah, that we need to change. We're all, I'll we're all working we're not through perfect, things. bro. Yeah. We're not perfect, bro. I have to stop hating on you know, kids. No, we, 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 you know, we can't rely on our cuteness. You know, eventually we get old and the cuteness fades away. And we're just you know, it's it's around. Yeah, I'm trying to correct someone. Shut up, Lolo! <laughs> I don't care if it's Billy Eilish's brother. <laughs> it's Billy Eilish. <laughs> Billy Eilish. I just, love, I, I just love the angle that I had because, like, I was talking to you, and in the background, Don is just staring at you, correcting you. <laughs> this whole episode is to us talking about shit we're working through. <laughs> yeah. Started off like judging others, <laughs> kids, and they were like, "Wait a minute, I need." A- I think we yeah, just looked at myself. We got, we got introspective just then. We were just like, "Oh, we all just saw oh, flaws that just came out in that last." 20 minutes Rav's like, gonna play Man in the Mirror you know, you, know, you know what that's what they call <laughs> gonna make a change I want some my life he stood up, he stood up to sing <laughs> uh, I believe that they, they call that a breakthrough <laughs> there, oh, there we go and you went introspective we're all growing man we're all growing that's, 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 that's life bro oh go God. and make a change so what's the song called Rav, oh, I sent it on Rav stood up <laughs> I'm gonna make a change. I, I love that we have things to work through. Aim ah. for next week. We're we're perfectly imperfect. Have you, like, has everyone yeah. seen this movie? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, this, yeah. they made this fun. to like mirror the boy bands in the like in the nineties and the early two thousands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I watch this movie yeah. so What's the boy band times. group called? 4chan, but it's five of them. <laughs> Four, <laughs> 4chan. <laughs> no, no, not 4chan. That's a bloody website. <laughs> Fortune. I can't remember, but it's for something. Four town. It's four town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four town. Four town. Oh, four chan. Don't go there, kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's nothing Disney about that. Reddit. <laughs> mine. Oh my. Oh my. The side. The side. The side. Which one was a better movie about family trauma? This movie or or. What was the one that Encanto? was Encanto? Encanto. Encanto is toxic, bro. I like, yeah. I, I, like you know, Encanto, I haven't man. seen the end. So Nadine <laughs> always tells me, because I'm always like the Lola. I'm like, she's lo- she's toxic as fuck, babe. But I don't realize, because at the end, she turns around, apparently, and she's actually good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. I've only seen when she's going at Mirabelle. And I'm like, nah, she's a bitch, I, um, bro. 
<laughs> this is why you think that the cops in Terminator are the good guys. <laughs> you have to watch the full thing, bro. <laughs> my, how much of the Terminator did he watch? <laughs> If he's still the the <laughs> chasing, <laughs> and then after that scene is like, that's enough for me. Yeah. That's enough for me. That kid's enough for me. That, that kid's kid kid trouble. That kid's an asshole. <laughs> Lucky Liquid Terminator was there to save the day. <laughs> Good cops, man. On the job. <laughs> that's enough for me. <laughs> Blue lives do matter. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there are meat pie trays on their chest. <laughs> And oh, golf clubs man. in their arms. And golf clubs in their arms. <laughs> I, I I like identified more with Encanto than than um. The, it's a Spanish influence, right? Yeah, but also like there's more uh, uh, of that stuff. Like the the <laughs> the eldest the eldest daughter, she's meant to be like all strong and like all the responsibilities on the on her shoulders. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I feel that. I feel I, that. I identified with Encanto more because I'm not a teenage girl going through puberty yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> fucking red turning red <laughs> oh my gosh Actually, yeah, I'm no. a monster mom it's <laughs> probably the, the better answer actually <laughs> oh, bro. oh man oh, bro. what song have you got alright the song that I want to play on the cheat code stash hold up it's a Filipino song gonna bro. make a change no for no once in my Right, so I am going to choose. Gonna feel you good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna All right, this song's called love. "True Love" by Tyler Loren, hey. Lauren, and Future James. Oh, Neo Soul. Oh. <clears throat> this is a Jeff Burnett type beat. That's not like. Shit, ask Jeff. This reminds me of the two thousands, Burr. Oh, uh, 100% is heavily influenced by Music Soul Child, for sure. Hey. Hey. Is she local or in the Philippines? Uh, apparently, she's Filipino because she's in a playlist called Pinoy R&B. Hey. So okay. that's the only... The only information I have. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's her name? What's her name? Tyler Loren. Tyler Loren. It's like Ralph Loren, but Tyler. Mm, but Tyler. But more creatorish, you know. Yeah. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> but this song is dope, man. This is Call the Cruise. Hey. hey. How sweet, man. You. Everyone go to your significant other and say that true love is hard to find. Mm. But every day I'd be looking at mine. Oh. Sweet. Hey. And that was Tyler, Tyler Loren, Loren and Future James. Very and nice. yeah, it listen to the Future James part. He looks like he sounds like Young Thug, you know, that type of vibe of the if you Tyler like as in T Y L E R. Lauren? Yeah, I think that's the only way to spell it, right? But I'm thug. Well, there's also I thought you like no, no, not 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 water, Tyler. This is a Tyler. Lauren. Yeah, Tyler Lauren. And the song is called what? True love with capital Ooh. letters. True love. But true is spelled like T R U. Yeah, T R U. And it's love. L U V. L U V. L U V. L U F. So. I'm sorry, guys, for my little outburst in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> That's like, right. It's all forgiven. I just felt because, like, <laughs> all my <laughs> life, I feel like I've been against the world, and I thought you knew where the world. I'm not. We're not offended, bro. We were just laughing. No, 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 no. no, no that was more me part. being me than petty. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the I had my back around. against the wall, and that's <laughs> what I had to do. <laughs> Complete one day. I gotta change. Man. <laughs> I, I guess I gotta change. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> It's, it's really it is real shit, bro. It's been really self-reflective. Real shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> real so, shit, bro. Shout out, shout out to Jumo, who's like building uh, an animated Family Guy version of us. And he was like, it's so hard to find, uh, you know, references of the chairs because he wanted to draw the chairs. And he's like, you just got to wait for us to laugh and leave our seats. Hopefully, we got enough references now from that, Jumo. Yeah. <laughs> And then if you want to make me look more pettier than you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, like, oh, yeah, man. so, like, 
Let's send the podcast. I'm sure we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really don't know what happened to Rev. I'm broken, bro. I'm broken, bro. He's so nice. It's shit, bro. It's okay, bro. I guess I guess we should end the podcast, bro. Maybe this is my. This is gonna sound depressing. Maybe this is my get away from insanity, bro. And I just don't want this podcast to end. But you're forcing me to be insane. Because once this ends, bro, I get back to the real Goes world. Bit, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Insanity kicks back in. I told you it's hard to run a business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going crazy in here. <laughs> can, can I swap the done seats next week? That's it. <laughs> You're on this one next week. <laughs> you can so where can they find you, Don Dewey stuff? <laughs> Don, oh. Don stuff.com that's my website at Don doing stuff on all social media platforms check me out <laughs> where can they find you Nats Blazon Nats Blazon on Instagram hey, and where can they find you Christian Garcia as www you can't spell abused with that us <laughs> dot com <laughs> I love that. It needs to be a shirt. <laughs> no one will get it. It sounds bad. It sounds really bad. <laughs> that's, the, that's the sitcom without the laugh track. Without the laugh track. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, no one will get the context. There's no bloody context. That's Can't terrible. spell abuse without us. <laughs> Domestic violence. It takes two to tango. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and you can find me Raph Flores with a Z on oh. Instagram or Raph Flores with an S on <laughs> interwebs uh, or hyperlbrand.com. Anything to do with your video needs. I'm more polite as a videographer and um, I'm more <laughs> in tune as a videographer. <laughs> Does this podcast actually help your business? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're losing sales, bro. <laughs> I don't get any. I don't get any sales from this podcast. Stop bro. promoting it, man. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it, that shit. It, it will eventually get me something. <laughs> if I get one client out of this, back it was worth the 500 episodes. <laughs> It's a 500 hey, man. episodes. A thousand That's hours. It, bro. <laughs> well, maybe I should do it a different way. The definition of crazy is doing the same thing, expecting this um, different result. So, mm. Mm. Something to think about. Kim Jong. Mm. <laughs> okay, maybe my different approach is maybe if you want a crazy videographer to film your next project. <laughs> if you want some abuse. <laughs> if you want someone to Can't be a bit more unstable in the head. <laughs> Then maybe <laughs> raffflores.com <laughs> will help you out. <laughs> do that. You can't <laughs> film abuse. <laughs> you can't <laughs> out us <laughs> <laughs> to your clients. <laughs> I mean, if that's the angle you're going for. Yeah, no, no, it depends on the art, you know? Depends on the art. You know, the art oh my bro. God. You know, like, you know, sometimes you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I keep talking. All right, this is the. Uh, Raffi's no, a, really, oh. a really good <laughs> FB dog, but just to let you know. He's I'm really insatiably, insatiably. What even though that's not even a word. Alright, I'm going crazy. Alright, this is another episode of the <laughs> Chica <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck? Back to insanity. The oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> <laughs>